Yeah, it's beans. <laughs> no, it's not beans. Okay, wait. Uh, nice. Okay, it? motherfucker. Uh, um, Eddie, Eddie Briggs, you better not pull any shit, dude, or you're fucking done. I'm serious. Oh, Gary. Well, what was it? Was it beans? Yeah, what did you eat? Was it beans or? Gary. Hold on a second. Well, it's at five o'clock. Hold it's, on a second. But it was four fifty nine. Actually, you started. You started right. early. It said five o'clock right on my thing. <laughs> it's at four fifty nine. Actually, on my end. Oh, it's a minute off. Who cares? And... No one cares. Oh, yeah. You, you're gonna care about this one. Oh God. <laughs> that doesn't even sound real. Yeah. Well, re- You are <laughs> you're a nasty dirty boy, you know that? What am I gonna do with you? Put them up for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Put them up for sale. Oh my god. What in the shitting hell? Oh god. No, I'm not gonna fight with to turn my fan. So sound it felt like it's been forever, but it's only been well a week because boy you missed your gap back. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Bless know, you. I didn't know what went down. I, I just didn't hear anything, so I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's... Uh, uh, it's Gary it's, was under the weather, man. Poor mm-hmm. little buddy. Yeah. No worry. Feeling too good. Yeah, I, that I was sick last week. Bad headache. Yeah, that sh- Since we're here, Shano, I've been wanting to tell you this for so fucking long. Well, I told you a little bit, but I want to tell you this right now in person. Okay. I have a possum living in my yard now. That's right. <laughs> you certainly did. A while back, I was sitting <laughs> in my chair by the window. It was a nice day. Window was open. Oh, the window. The window. And all of a sudden, I saw this little fat fucking possum running around the yard. <laughs> I just started laughing at me. <laughs> Not only was he waddling, but he was a fucking fat little fucker. He was the size of a football. <laughs> He was scurrying on the sides of the house. He was scurrying towards the fucking little, uh, well, it's a model, but it's not a, it's not a real uh, wishing well, but it's a little wishing well that was built, home built. Uh, that, wishy-washy. He was near, running near that. He's right by the trees. And all so he was looking for food. And from there, he decided to build himself a little home by, by some sort of um, hillside that we have. And he's got a home little built under there. And I see the little... Fucker nearly every day now. You know what? That's a good question. <laughs> what would you name that possum? His name's Little Fucker. Oh, come on, dude. Why, why you gotta do my boy like that? Yeah, no kidding. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually kind of grown a little fond of the guy, of the little guy, because the thing is, is that okay? Is that why? so? Because he's fat. Because you should see the size of him. He's well, a- you can relate. <laughs> and you want to know something that happens? He fucking poops a lot in the driveway. Once again, you can relate. Yeah, so, exactly. I have to go out on the drive, especially around this time. I have to go out and spray it off because you know he fucking makes a mess. And his, I see his little feet prints everywhere in that driveway. It's all muddy. Wait, you, you see his little what, Gary? Feet prints. Footprints, you dumb shit. Feet prints. <laughs> feet prints. Footprints. 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 <laughs> footprints. <laughs> Feet prints, footprints, nothing to get. Foot Hold on a real. second. I gotta leave. I gotta leave my handprints. Well, you, you actually do see handprints, so fingerprints or fingertip well, prints. <laughs> there, that's better. Yeah, fingertip prints. That's better. If you grow, thank you, Luke. If you grow fond of him, why would you give him such a cruel name? Feet prints. Why am I giving him such a cruel? Because you want to know why I'm naming him a little fucker. Because when I first saw him, that was the first thing I said. Look at this little fucker out there. And it just stayed. Possums have feelings too, you know. Well, yeah. Well, he, he he hasn't been bothering me. He allows me to get closer to him. Well, not close, close, but he allows me to get close enough to feed him. I literally leave a piece of bread out there for him to grab. Oh, like, well, isn't that considerate? Well, he's got to eat too, you know. So. Well, here, Gary. Here's some fucking bread for you. <laughs> Yeah, How man. did you After not? He runs around the yard, he looks for the bread that I give him. I live by his little burrow there. <laughs> Surprised you didn't name him Lucas. 
Oh, God. So I've grown a little fun. Now, recently, I went to the record store. My guy that I have, that I know, his face mask was fucking possum pattern. <laughs> I swear to Christ, now possums are now... Okay, first it was a goddamn duck, rubber ducks. Now <laughs> possums are taking over. I have you to blame for this shit. <laughs> what, with the rubber ducky? Oh, for the you possum. fucking sent me a bag of 50 rubber ducks and I still have one. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I sure awesome. did. I swear to God, anything that this that this dickhead does, it's taking over my life. The first <laughs> goddamn rubber ducks, now possums are taking over because I have one. Oh my god! Card. Listen, this is just retribution because you used to hate them. Yeah, no you kidding. And they're saying all these mean, horrible things, and now you well, just, I don't, I don't like them. Well, I can have a change of heart if it's you know done naturally. Well, then again, you know, let, you know, Gary, he doesn't like his own kind. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one is so but this little, you know, this little fuck, I've kind of grown fond of him. He waddles around the yard and he does his thing. Wait, I came Lord. up with the name Howard the Cowardly Possum back in 2019, huh? Wait, what? Huh? Howardly, Howard the Cowardly Possum. Well, this little guy, you know, oh, he just, he's just out doing his own thing. So, you know why possums? You know why possums are good at playing dead because they can't. They can't. They, they can't. Oh, for decide God's it. sakes, <laughs> Jesus! It's funny because the last interaction I had with a with the porch possum we have out here, um, it was like I was just trying to go to work, and I didn't want to scare him too bad because it was <laughs> enjoying some leftover cat food that was we left outside for the outdoor cats, and I'm going by. And I look at him and I'm like, hey buddy, how's it going? He's just he just hisses at me. And I'm just like, all right, cool, I understand, man. Have a good one. <laughs> oh my god. It was Mr. Hawking? A, it was just a little <laughs> it was just a little hiss. A little hiss. Yeah. Fucking hell. I was like, you better get your ass back to Avatar. You'd be fucking hissing at me. You know, recently I took, recently I took out the garbage. Now before the garbage man came, the can ended up getting knocked over. And then I saw little trails, a fucking raccoon was in there. <laughs> Guess what happened? I had to clean it up. You know why you didn't see any more trails? Because he, he jetpacked out of there. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I see a lot of animals running around because I live on a big property because you yeah. know land and shit. And I see a lot of animals just running around. I majority of the time, other than that little possum, I see a lot of deer running around in the front. I see a lot of turkeys. I see the geese. Couple, 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 couple. Every once in a while, I will see a fox. Or, 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 or turkeys? <clears throat> yeah, I see. What the heck was that? That's a turkey. I was going to the, when I was on my way to the casino. Gobble, gobble. Right, I, there was, a, there was about two turkey that were just sitting out in the front there. They have a favorite spot by a tree that is back there. They like to sit there and just communicate with each other about whatever. Same here, see, Cook. I get coyotes all the time. Speaking of turkeys, yeah, I know Lucas. He's a big old fat fucking turkey. He's going to get stuffed soon. <laughs> In more ways than one, too. Those fucking coyotes, they get loud. I mean, the they're loud, but here's the thing with here's the thing with coyotes. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Yeah, mm. but, but they are. What is there? Okay, every time the seasons change around, whether it's winter, fall, most mostly, if not around the summertime, they get fucking loud. Now I mean loud. They won't shut the fuck up for like almost a whole entire night. They get oh, loud. God. I don't know. Mating season. What? Or... What animal do you? What animals do you four represent? I'm a big old. I'm a big old grizzly bear. I about to say you're a grizzly bear. I'm a big old grizzly bear. Okay, my because they could be they could be scary, but yet funny at the same time. I was Thank gonna you, say when it comes to yeah. I was gonna say when it comes to coyotes, <laughs> like the best I could describe like any animal that gets that's dangerous when you're spooked. Matt Reeves said this about Cloverfield about the monsters. He basically said nothing is scary when an when an animal is spooked. The animal I represent, no, like, like I, dust. No, the animal I represent is a fucking rain frog because they're the most miserable bastards on earth. <laughs> Wait, Romy is a whale. Romy is a hippo. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> God, my ass. You know what? I, I should be the fucking hippo because I'm always shitting all over the place. So yeah, and you're always cranking when someone passes you. You go after them. <laughs> they are the most deadliest animals in Africa. But he's a grumpy cat for a reason. Oh shit! That grizz. That documentary. 
is insane. Girl, I'm man, a lemur? Uh, uh, the Werner Herzog film, which I really like Werner Herzog. I think he's well, awesome. A couple of years ago, there was a black bear living in the woods, and uh, they did Holy get crap. Did he had a did he had a dead uh, ranger in a pig in a basket with him? I wish the <laughs> bear, I didn't. Austin's even see the bear. raccoon. They managed to get a follow the bear. That fucking bear was not even was not even vicious. It was just the it was literally it was not even that big of a bear. Hmm. Romy is an elephant or a rhino without the horn. <laughs> well, Alex just said I'm always horny. <laughs> why am I? Oh, Austin, you're the fucking raccoon. That's that's easy. Wait, why am I a chameleon? I'm Rocket Raccoon, Mother F's. <laughs> why are you a chameleon? Because I re- why? I can tell you why. Because I don't want to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's what you gave him more so for earlier, Gary. That's so. Oh, you do that? Everybody out there, you. Hey, Gary. Gary, just listen. You're not you when you're hungry. Eat a pineapple. <laughs> you know what? Everybody out there, all you people watching, you all can go fuck yourself. <laughs> you people, everybody but Shane. Okay, you, Shane, you don't you, know the you don't you know, know what two, happened. Yeah. You, everybody but Shane, you two cocksuckers can go fuck yourself. Okay, everybody watching, ex- fuck themselves. Let me explain. Goddamn pineapple bullshit. We been messaging me. Blowing up my goddamn timeline with a 20 to 30 notifications with your pineapple bullshit that I can give two shits about. I used to like pineapples. I don't like them anymore now because all you fuckers been giving me pineapple bullshit that I don't even care about anymore. Okay, Shane, let me give you the context now. Oh, please. Al, okay, Gary was being a hard ass to fuck. Wait a minute. Wait, uh, wait, wait, Scloopy, Dooply, Roopley. I barely said anything. No, shut the fuck. You no. lying second. You lying Gary. second shit, Gary. Oh, you I are a lying prick. I was barely. Go shove a, go go shove a pie up off your butt. Your parents held it. I was saying my oh, dick. Hello. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. <laughs> I was let, okay. Now, now that now that liar liar is out of the building, let me explain what really happened. Okay, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay, now, shut the fuck up. Me. I'm talking. You shut up, asshole. Okay. Son of a bitch. Guys, Dingleberry. In the fuck in the comments, bad. Alex is sh- Alex is posting emojis of pineapples in the chat. I am fucked. Oh my. We are people stopping with your fucking pineapples. Will you let me talk? I'm trying to explain Shane the fucking thing about the pineapples. I am telling the people no pineapples are allowed in the hall. God damn it. (laughs) Here goes. Here comes Harvey Wolf of Ultimate Warrior. Okay, let me explain what happened. So Gary was being a dickhead to Austin like he usually As usual. And he calls Mm -hmm. him a fucking pineapple. And then right after that, he goes, man, I'm hungry. So I'm just, I saw it and I'm just like, ooh, time for me to dive in, right? <laughs> and I just kept sending him, and I sent him a picture of one of pineapple, and then a pear, and then triples, and then more, 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 and then more. And then more. And then more. Dude, it just, uh, the best and worst. <laughs> I actually did the best and worst. You in the got and I pissed off Gary so much that he made a post in the network. Shut the fuck up! I'm speaking to stupid son of a bitch! You shut the fuck up! He's trying to see right now, I'm just saying. Do me a favor, squat! Let me let me squat over your face, and I'll give you a chocolate sundae on your face. At, you know, here, speak of that. Here, I'll do that right now. You motherfucker. He's trying to speak, I'm just saying. Here, open wide! Was, now, as uh, I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by this banana hermaphrodite. <laughs> off to a smoking stud already. So, yeah, he got pissed off me sending him multi- nonstop pictures of pineapple. So, he made a post in a network. <laughs> <laughs> he made a post in a network. Alex, he says, I, I love fucking, you. He goes, I fucking hate pineapples. Shane, let me <laughs> tell you something about this post. I did not say I Shut up. I- I well, he, no, no, he, 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 he said I fuck said, pineapple. I said fuck pineapple. That's all he said. That's all he uh, said. Same difference. Okay, and... <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. There's a difference. Come on. There is actually a difference between oh, actually, between oh, the words. Okay, let me... Would you, oh, shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, now... Everybody's doing SpongeBob. 
Now, what the heck was he that this, sound? He made this post at 10 a.m. This post has 77 comments. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you, all you it's assholes me. out, everybody watching and you two fuckbags, I've been blowing on my fucking notifications. It's your oh, fault. Man. It's your fault that you called on you call my boy Austin you a fucking the, point You put this on to yourself. And all of a sudden, my fucking phone get getting blown up with pineapple bullshit. Blowing up like you're doing the... I agree, bananas and oranges are the best fruits. I don't give a fuck about bananas. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> asshole. I don't give a shit about bananas right now. You fucking anal wart that's ready to be popped. Fuck bananas. And fuck pineapples. Fuck bananas. I, can, Gary, guess what? I like yeah. the flavor of pineapples, but not the texture of pineapples. Oh my god, now people are sending me more pineapple nonsense. I'm by, I'm by, the way, by the way, hey, by the way, uh Moist Critical or Penguin Z Zero or Charlie, they literally not too long ago did a tier list, or he calls it the liquid ladder, of fruits. Really? And what? guess what? The one thing he okay, guess what he said about strawberries? He don't like the texture. Yeah, I can agree with that. Oh, Gary. oh, oh. oh. Hey, Gary, you hear that noise? That's me fucking your ass. My balls are slapping you. I love how people are on my side with this one, Gary. Oh, I got to change something real quick. <laughs> and my actually, I talked to my dad about a certain thing about peanut peanut oh, butter. out. I yep. I t yeah, guys, I talked to my dad about peanut butter. I was like, I'm not a fan. My dad said, yeah, I'm not oh, a fan that, either. That's, that's a sin. That is and a I said sin. to him, thank you. Not a fan I, of I can't either. remember what he had on there for S here. Okay, he had bananas up there. He had grapes. Right. He had, um, he had pineapple. <laughs> you know, I used to like pineapple, but after all this bush, I don't like him anymore now. Oh, oh, you, you, oh you say that now, you go right back you to know, it. how long it's been since I've had a pineapple? It's been a long goddamn time. Well, quit shoving them up your ass then. <laughs> Out of all fucking That's painful right there. God damn it. Shane, hey Shane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you give, uh, you know what? That reminds me. I was about to say give him some words of wisdom for Gary, but I know something that will easily, you know, scramble. Oh, actually, you can't scramble Gary's brains. So are already fucked up beyond repair. <laughs> what is the word of the week? No, oh, that's a good oh, question. that's right. Word of the week. Let me see. What was the word of uh, again? Well, here? Alexa Taylor's was what was scloopy dooply rooply. <laughs> well, that's three words. <laughs> Wait, Austin, are you watching a review for Knock Doc? I am not touching that review with Austin with a third foot pole. <laughs> no, we're, we're not going to do that. We're okay, no. I, I got it. I got oh, okay. the word of the week. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the word of the week is Mondouble. <laughs> <laughs> Mondouble. Mondouble. There you go. You know what that is? That's. That sounds like an admin's ready to take a dump. <laughs> or, 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 uh, what, what pro or probably the, uh, in a, a, another way you can put that is an exclamation of pain after you get kicked in the dick. <laughs> Think about it. Ow. Why, why would you get kicked in the dick? I don't know. Why would you? I'm just saying this is probably what you would say after, after the fact. You know, I would, oh my. Kick, I would kick a whole Mondouble. <laughs> I would definitely kick his in the nuts with pineapple. Mondouble. <laughs> but yeah, Austin, okay, dude, like I said, knock, knock. I'm, uh, years ago, knock, Austin knock, made yeah. a post called Knock, Knock. And <laughs> I, I will admit, I'm part of the reason why. He had to delete that post because I was getting into some fucking fierce arguments. Yeah. Like, it was bad. Because if mm. you know what that movie's about and what it represents and why Eli Roth made it, it's fucking deplorable. No, it is. It is. I see. No, it, it's pretty much like if you're a married man, you deserve to be raped, tortured, extorted, and have your family yeah. ruined and your house destroyed. I'm and, not and, kidding. And, and that basically all men will not be faithful to their wives and a lot of stuff. Yep. Yeah. And, and Eli Roth went out and said, hey, you know what? All women will love my movie. Not yeah. really. And Lauren loves movies. She gave it it was her first zero, and she named it the worst film of the year. I'm just like, thank you so much. I, I'm going to smack all of you with your fucking pineapple nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, uh, you are, they, are they still commenting on the post? 
No, I'm getting message message in my fucking inbox. Well, <laughs> just wait, just wait till Psycho Mike shows up. Oh God. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of speaking of Lauren, Alexa. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alexa Taylor. She looks exactly like Lauren. That it's scary. Oh, she does. No, she's I, dude. No, she, she looks does. like if Lauren was 13 years old. Which is good. I'm just like that's a, that's good for you, Alexa. Because you know why? With Lauren, she's like the female Dick Clark. She never ages. <laughs> she's 30, and she looks the same as she did eight, ten years ago. <laughs> that is very Damn. true. So you're in good hands. I got a special introduction for every single person here. Well, for you, oh. special Ed. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, we are a little into the show now, so I suppose well, introductions are in order. Well, well here's my, here's my, here's my introduction. <laughs> well, oh no, the peeper oh, strikes again. <laughs> Put those floppy disks away. Here the comes the disk. This ain't the early the 90s anymore. The biggest hard drives in podcast history. In regards to. You mean, you, you mean SSDs? Attached to the creature who last night impregnated your mother. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left, I want to introduce you. This is Shano. Better than the Titanic because only 400 women went down on the Titanic. Daddy <laughs> Mac, right here across was, diagonally from me. I wasn't expecting With that. Potential spot muffin himself. Remember the name. You'll be screaming it later. Poopy McFuckface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can only imagine what he's gonna say about me. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, oh damn. damn. You know who I am? I am none other than the No! Girl. No! no. I'm, I'm mad. I'm I'm very angry. I'm angry. <laughs> okay, this is fat. I am the peel banana in your fruit bowl of love, fat fuck. <laughs> Yours truly, ladies and gentlemen. I way. like the ring to that. That's, that I should am, be, that should be, I should, am. If you ever become a hip hop artist, that's gonna be my name. <laughs> Gary, that, was, that was brilliant. brilliant. That Sounds was like brilliant. a Captain Underpants <laughs> villain. That's really done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let Gary finish off. I am Mister. The girls like to call me Freddie Flintstone because we <laughs> love the way I make their beds rock. Gary, Bear. <laughs> Gary. That was brilliant. That I was actually, great. I didn't create any of these. This is all Joel Gertner. That I mean, was improv, man. That was brilliant. Yeah, improv I was right gonna there. say, is that Joel Gertner? That was all Gertner. All quotes go directly to Joel Gertner. Oh, uh, I thought that was all improv right there. No, I was. I was watching. Good delivery, though. I was watching. ECW. I'm the quintessential stud muffin, Joel. I leave the women sore, but they come back for more. Those total whores, Gertner. <laughs> Dude, ECW back then, they were hardcore, but they were... The man who drove Beulah McGillis like, into the mat so hard, she didn't know whether to urinate, defecate, or ejaculate. Ejaculate. I present to him. God. Ray Dudley. Oh, what the fuck? So, if Gary is Fred Flintstone, does that make Rumby Bam Bam? Yeah. <laughs> I thought no, no, no. I'm, I'm Fred. He's fucking Barney. <laughs> yeah, yes, oh my that, god that, that, movie, that was a perfect cast except why would you cast Russell? it was yeah, yeah no I, kidding yeah i never understood that i was watching some ecw earlier and i was just listening to joe gertner just cutting some promos <laughs> joe oh, the best. he is the funniest motherfucker i've heard in all professional life. i'm a pussy licking demon with vanilla flavored semen <laughs> gertner <laughs> Oh, he said that on the pay per view. I'm not joking. I just heard, van I just heard vanilla flavored semen. Oh That's my exactly God. what he said. He, what dude, fuck? he was hilarious. I am. And I just finished shaking my cheek feel too. Oh my God. Harder than the tree that hits Sonny Bono. <laughs> Austin needs to be my sugar bear. Oh well, you. God. Well, it's called. It's called uh, Golden Crisp. <laughs> You know yeah, first Aaliyah says that, then Tiffany says, handsome devil. I'm just like, I'm getting some love in the chat. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Next and, show, there I'm you go. Improvisation of Joel Gertner with all Joel stuff. Dude, Joel Gertner, Gertner is fucking... Wait, is the Flintstones movie any good? No, it's not. <laughs> the casting is the only thing that's good about it. Dude, yeah, it the minor songs are down, which I think yeah. is the worst. The cast was per The casting choices was perfect. It really was. 
Now, I'm going to tell you the guys on this truth right now. If any of us were able to go travel back, and I'm going to be serious here for just one moment. Mm -hmm. If we all were able to travel back in time to go see any wrestling show, I think ECW would have been the most perfect choice to go. Yeah. Here's the thing about that. Okay, ECW Heatwave 2000 was in California. This is like the first time they went West Coast because most of their pay per views were on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't, 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 wasn't that basically in the title ECW? It was like East something. Or well, they were they were known as Eastern Championship Wrestling, and then Shane Douglas cut that infamous the original like pipe bomb, and yeah. it became Extreme Championship Wrestling. Oh, I see. Okay. Because the thing is that in professional wrestling, you can cut no matter what promo that's believable, whatever. But here's the thing: with Shane Douglas broke the barriers. He never he, he did something that's never been done before, and it just not only dude, like in back, dude in the early ECW days, dude. Like they, this is the reason why Kurt Angle didn't join with ECW way early in the day, and this is true <laughs> because the Sandman they crucified him. Yeah, oh, and Kurt Angle's and. Right? And Raven, you heard of Raven. He came out and he literally had to apologize to the crowd. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but hey, Hangman Charlie. Ah. Uh, what oh, do you think of James Ellsworth? I fucking can't. Well, don't get me started on that motherfucker, dude. Yeah. I can't stand him. But yeah, I honestly think ECW would have been one of the greatest things to go see in person. Because that uh, was I agree. ECW One Night Stand 2005 or 2006. I that is the one event I wish I was there for. I'm not, those two. About, I'm not talking about like a specific pay per view. I'm talking about uh, like a particular wrestling. Well, for you, it might be easier because you're not too far from compared to me. I have to travel five thousand miles. Yeah, no. A fun fact. You know how Robin and would you travel five thousand more? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. That is just that was beautiful. Oh, that's a good one. But yeah, honestly, fun fact: when EC, when Robbie and Dan became the longest rating uh, ECW television champion, it was one right here in Buffalo. Yeah, it was, and he held the belt for nearly two years. Uh, and here's the thing, though, when it came time, because Buffalo, New York, was well, is a hard was a, well, I don't know if it still is, but it was a hardcore wrestling town. The most hardcore wrestling towns are New York, Chicago, um, New Jersey, big time. Yeah, um, yeah, I can believe it. But I managed to see a little taping of. I, it wasn't like a full. God, it was like high quality. Yes. Scary. Here's your maneuver. It's called the bonsai drop. Here's the bonsai. You know what I like to call that? The st- that's that right there is called butt butt fuck butt fuck butt, 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 butt okay. shit flex. There you go. Wait, what? What did you say, Gary? You sound like you're trying to rap Dr. Seuss. The butt fuck shit flex, dude. Butt I was just talking to my dad, and then as soon as I heard that, I just think, what the hell is going on in here now? I don't even worry about it. I, I need to worry because of Gary's ass. Nah. <laughs> What the, I don't know what match it was because the quality was so fucking oh my god, your quality was not no, good. I make liquidity. it was VHS, you know, plan recorded quality. Well, you see, the, but yeah, Buffalo, New York, I don't know if it still is, but it was a big hardcore wrestling. Oh, it, yeah, absolutely, it was all those years ago when ECW came here. Uh, what was it? They put they did the shows at I, it was at it was a local stadium, not the HSBC, way before. It was a local auditorium that they used to do at that filled up like I think five to a thousand people only. I don't know how much it was, but it was <laughs> yeah, but it was definitely enough to fill. Yeah. Hey, Alexis says I'm worried about you four. <laughs> uh, I know, but it's good. Alexa, she's been watching wrestling recently. Oh dear. And it's what? like Mike and I have been giving her the best like matches to watch. And you know what the first match she watched was? And you couldn't start off any better. The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels at twenty five. Tell her to talk to me about wrestling. I can educate her with some stuff. No, 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 no. She wants to watch stuff in a grand spectacle. Don't well, you I, don't I'm, you dare start that indie shit. I didn't say indies. I didn't, I didn't not to say be it. fair, he did not. To be fair. No, he didn't. 
because I know some stuff from wherever, from fucking ECW, WCW. And I'm not sure she'll like ECW. Then there you go. Then it's okay. Shut the fuck up. No, but yes. Here, spin the wheel, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Proper introduction first before I sure. do it. Well, sure. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of our lovely program that makes your Mondays and hopefully your week a lot better, ladies and gentlemen. This is both of us, and you all have seen the lovely program a whole lot, and that's good. And I also want to. And it is unscripted, un- 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 undisputed, un- undertaking. Unscripted, un- underwhelming. Un- <laughs> <laughs> Underwear. Oh, I feel something. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I literally had to stop the wheel just so I can get it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, dude, that sounded like a fucking that sound like a pickle exploded. <laughs> Teacup. <laughs> oh, that sounded horrible. That was awful. Speaking of underwear, yeah, you look like you shat your britches. <laughs> Joe Boxers. <laughs> yeah, is Gary twerking? Dude, every time My he eyes. walks, he looks like he's twerking. He walks like a South Park character. Well, that's <laughs> All right, here, let me spin the wheel. But yes, yeah, so welcome to another episode of your favorite unscripted, uncensored, unfiltered, underwear, undertaker, <laughs> underwater, underneath her boobs. Uh, underneath her boobs? Oh, more like, not, well, we can just say under boob. There you go. Under boob, yeah. Well, under boob. Uh, <laughs> There's the buffalo chicken fingers talking. Under the line line, I want some buffalo chicken fingers. Photos, and we are here to give you another natural episode that you all seem to enjoy, etc. And uh, oh yeah, I, eating I, nacho. I, He's the same with me. He hates pickles too. I have two things I like to announce. One of them is I want to say thank you to all who's been tuning into my little streams that I do. I told you people like them. I that was did, a fun stream, by the way. That was I a fun honestly one. did not expect. Oh, the wheel said, "Go fuck yourself." Spin it again. <laughs> but yes, I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning into my little streams I was doing when I first did. When I just did it for the hell, oh, yeah. honestly, I didn't think my, these streams that I do were gonna really take off in terms. Dude, of- when we did the Nickelodeon thing, that was fun. That was a fun one. When you came on and I saw Gary's face, I was laughing. By the way, <laughs> Austin, it's Nick Arcade. <laughs> I still feel ashamed about that, okay? Well, I, I'm, I ain't going to get off your ass about that. No, though. no, I hope you don't. <laughs> like, oh, that's like, all like, like, it's like, It's like, like with the bacon thing, dude. Like, oh, with my, like my, you're killing me. But yes, folks, I do appreciate you all tuning in my streams. Now, I don't do these streams every week. I only do them when I feel like it, so that makes it more natural. And if, if you're exclusively in the group page, uh, I'll say something when I'm going to do it, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, like I said, these listings are what they <laughs> do. Obviously, it's like a top 10, but I try and turn it into more of a discussion with everybody so they can all be engaged. So right. That's the beauty of that. Engaged? Why? I didn't know there was many single people. Oh, for God's sake. Also, <laughs> folks, I have a little document I want to give you all. Paper I want to be. Okay, Documents. next is... What is it? <laughs> I did, did you see that? Oh spinning? my god! How much was that thing? How much? Uh, how much oil did you put on that fucker? That make it... that, I didn't even touch you. Just kept going. It said spin again. <laughs> Carry. I didn't even touch it. It just did it on its own. Oh my god! But yes, I have a little piece of paper I like to give to everybody, and I want them to fill them out for me. Just a kill it is oh, <laughs> official document for the 1990s Network Film Awards. Which, by the way, I actually voted for an hour before the show started. Yep, and here are my and here are my picks. Oh God! <laughs> I thought you actually shot yourself for a moment. Gross! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brand flakes. <laughs> We're not playing that game. What game are we playing, Gary? Oh, I'm not playing that. We're not playing what, Gary? We're not playing that game. You know what game right. we should play next week? We haven't played it in a long while. What's that? Words with the turds. Well, That'd be a fun one. Well, let's see what the wheel says. Alright, well, Shane, that's, that's what's your introduction? Oh, no, no, wait. I thought... Yeah, I thought you was going to do his introduction while we, while we were spinning. <laughs> Did it just spin say spin again? again? <laughs> Gary, stop doing that. No. Alright, <laughs> Shane... Introduction, sir. Um, you know what this is. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 153, all known as the Bolvars and the Sovas. Introducing the young ass <laughs> Mr. Gabber. <laughs> Elmo. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay, fruitcake, whatever you say. <laughs> Cancel both for hating pickles. And the next, God. <laughs> Shut up, drum. No, no, no. Gary, would you stop it? Wait, what's the game, Gary? The Googler. Oh, uh, the Googler. Wait, the Googler? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm we haven't played Wars with the Turds in like almost 20, 25 episodes. Oh, the wheel has spoken. <laughs> Gary could spin me my wheel right around. No, because you don't want Gary to end up like EDP 445. <laughs> if you don't know what happened with him, let's just say Chris Hans is going to give him a call. Yeah. Oh, it's boy. Sad. Oh, boy. Yeah. Bit much. <laughs> and then we have. Hey, guys. Austin yeah, here. here. Hi, guys. Austin here. Fuck you. <laughs> and then we have. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Gary, uh, what the hell? <laughs> what is this huge link? Uh, I probably didn't send it right. Oh, no, no, because no, because you can't. You can only send up to two hundred characters. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, and yours, Charlie. boy, boy, Jane, buddy, and the big. Topic I have is survey says I have this plan. I got thousands, about thousands, about thousands, about thousands of questions. And As you always player, do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, since we have three players playing, Jesus, since we have three players playing, what's the total amount of um, uh, points to win, Garrett Bear? Well, let's say about eight because that's eight? okay. <laughs> that's fair. Well, the reason is that's actually been my lucky number when I've been going to the casino. So, oh, which by the way, that, be, by the way. Good, good to your pops, by the way. Dude, his dad. Let's not address that live, because. But, 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 but I'm just saying, like, good on your pops. Wait, say it again, Gary. Gonna say. Gonna, we're gonna keep that private. Let's just. Oh, say okay, it. okay. Let's just say that he did very well. Yeah, the, the details private, but like, just seriously, congratulations. Man. Oh my god, unbelievable. He just had a good day. That's all. I, that's a damn good, a good day. Good day, man. my ass, dude. I jump out of a fucking window. A good day. We don't need to go into more. It was just a good no, day. No, we don't. We don't. I just wanted to say, hey, congratulations to your pops. That's all. Okay. Uh, 1990 is no film award voting ballot. Uh, please take a look. Oh, I'll say this in terms of topics. I have a couple of new pickups that I just purchased and actually that I got last week. A new game pickup. And also, I have a review from an Elgar Soft by The Phantom Pain, Phantom which I finally Pain. beat. And also, I saw the first three Transporter movies recently. Oh, God. <laughs> so we don't, not, we don't I, talk about the third movie. That third movie is easily the worst. Oh, don't, get me, don't get me fucking started on that. The second one was the best one easily. Uh, Even but, though it was the most preposterous. <laughs> oh, but it, but it's, it's, it was a movie that I understood what it was. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Uh, I, I just want to say... Welcome to Bofas. <laughs> Both of these nuts. <laughs> Motherfucker. Shane, okay. okay, you know what, Shane? You know what? You're disqualified from the first two questions. <laughs> you know what, Shane? Under okay, speaking, speaking, speaking of that, okay. My coworker tricked me into the. Okay. You know how much I love Greek mythology, right? Oh, of course. So I mean, basically, he basically said, Have you heard of a, have you heard of a, a warrior named Both of these? And I was like, what and, and like and he said Achilles and he's like well Achilles you know how the on the back of the foot it's like well both of these points down to his front I was like you motherfucker <laughs> both of these nuts are you fucking my kidding? my coworker did that to me a couple of nights ago and I was like I, I was like you know what Gary I'm really proud of myself you right know what now. Gary you know what you're, you're, you know what you're gonna have to do now. You're gonna have to change the thumbnail to have a bowling a two bowling balls and a bowling pin right in the middle and. There you go. Oh my Jesus, dude! As soon as my as soon as my coworker told me, I was like, "Dude, that was fucking clever, man." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, that's funny because I thought of that while I was at work. You did, uh, yeah. Okay, here's what I have to offer. Now, here's a topic I would love to go over, Shane and Austin. Actually, for everybody, because I saw this list and I was about to lose my goddamn mind. Mm-hmm. It was Watch, Watch Mojo's top twenty greatest video games of all time. I want to hear this damn thing. You're not going to fucking believe this list because 
Oh, I, I have the 10 best, 10 best and worst films of 1994. Oh. Uh, my review of Holmes and Watson. Oh. You know, the day that uh, we filmed our best worst of 2018, Alex saw it that day, if I remember correctly. I was not able to see this because it was not – I couldn't find it anywhere. It was it was at my local theater when it came out. No joke. Wow, I couldn't find it anywhere. I, could, I couldn't even find it online until like a week or two after, and I couldn't count it. And I saw it, and we'll just I'll just say my thoughts. Also, right. my pick my pick of the ten most overrated video games of all time. This was gonna shake some tail feathers. <sighs> I know it's me, especially. And my main topic survey says. As for what I got, uh, I was requested a couple things. One of them is I'm gonna talk about thought my uh, the family. We're going to talk about my family's got guts. I'm going to talk about that. Oh, okay. I'm going to also talk a little bit about some of the prizes that was featured on Legends of Maiden Temple. <laughs> I want to go into a much more in depth talk about Sing Street. Ooh. Oh, I love that movie. So good. So oh, good. Pepsi's newest flavor of pop that they're going to be having on the show. And I work now on my most overrated video games, but here's the thing, though, folks. I don't hardly play any shitty games, so. I must play good stuff. So for most, I know people, the Outer Worlds is going to be on there. <laughs> a lot of my stuff that I'm going to have is mostly stuff from the present time. But again, oh okay. But I played games from my childhood. It was just mostly stuff that made a part of it, and that was just classics. So and Control would be on there as well, asshole. Well, we'll see, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm going to need some time for this particular one, and I didn't have enough because it's kind of a hard thing for me. But still, I got some good stuff lined up. And that's it. Let's play a game, shall we? All right. Calm this play. is my buzzer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Dude, I'm clenching like, it's, like I'm, a, I'm a new fish in prison. Hold on. Let me check. <laughs> if you really want, okay. Today is what you about. Okay, oh, okay, okay. There, okay. It's okay. okay. Really quick, that exactly last pop day. was, oh, I thought that was an acid bubble. Okay, so yeah. if you could tell you this, to tell you the truth, if you want to be, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was the film that Lotto had me take notes from. That Thank you very two, much. From Sing Street, okay. so let's just say Sing Street. We'll we'll talk about it when we get Sing there. Street. Oh yeah. Rules. Well, we'll get there. By the way, Gary, you're welcome again. Take notes, Lotto. No, <laughs> we'll talk about it once we get there. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready to play some survey says? You want to play some survey says? Oh Here we go. Survey says, in case you haven't, you can all play in the live chat, and if you're watching the replay, this is how survey says works. It's like family feud. I'm going to read a question to these three young gents, and there's no buzz, no buzzers. I was about and, to ask about that. Yeah, and yeah, it wouldn't work with buzzers. for uh, nah, And I'm going to really go by audio cue, and the first person to yell out, uh, what they think is the uh, the highest answer on the board gets the point. And these are all legit survey questions. Are you ready, ladies and gents? No. Asshole. Yeah. No. Shane? What? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now, oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Okay. You be quiet. I'm trying to read the question. I shut. Don't start this shit again. You be quiet. <laughs> Get fucked by a raccoon. Get fucked by a dog. And... Look at all the water bottles Austin's got in his background. Oh, my, my dad actually put those there. It's a lot of water bottles. We'll yeah, no those. shit. Got to stay hydrated. But... Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I also have G Fuel here for a reason. So you got some Sprite over here too. By yeah, the way, the, it's a spicy DNA flavor. Good stuff. Yeah, Wait, what is it? I w it was the spicy demonade flavor. Good stuff. Oh, okay. I'm about that. to unleash some fucking demons. You'll be quiet. By the way, should I got the hype sauce for the reason? Be recently. quiet. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead. Bottle. Spice good. <laughs> okay. Hydration is important. Yep. Especially in bukkakis. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Yeah, you all build some muscle. Name a reason you might not respond to a text. Uh, okay. Uh, I go think I'm busy. I have two answers. There's driving. The, there's the old Uncle Gare Bear answer, and then there's the logical one. I want to hear both of these. Which one? 
I think I know, whatever you want, man. Whichever one, whichever one. Is what it's your choice. Okay, the question was name a reason why you be can't you won't be able to answer a text. Hurry up! I'm taking a shit. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Okay, taking a shit. No, it's not on there. Uh, driving? Not on there. Busy? What? Number two. Number wow. Two busy. Number one answer? You forgot. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That could be me. That can that happens to me like ten percent. No, it happens to you all the time. You always, not really. Oh, it didn't happen to you. Oh, oh, oh never mind. You do it all the time. Well, here's the thing, Gary. When I don't respond, it's because I'm fucking working. Oh, no, even when you're not working, you don't even bother responding to me. I, well, dude, oh, he was man, fucking well, because you always abuse me. Oh, well, what's wrong with He's that? Got a point, well, yeah, Austin was working. What's he wrong was... with that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Listen, <laughs> Austin, Austin was doing. He was busy. He was doing a rotisserie. If you don't know what that is, that's to say one guy goes in this end and the other guy goes in the other end, and he's floating. <laughs> Here we go. Top. I know I thought answer. deliverance for some reason. I don't know why I thought of that. Okay, so like a pig, uh, guys. Okay, Austin. Okay, okay. Uh, one Love zero zero. There we go. I'm not gonna put nicknames because it'll no. take me forever. I actually Here. might do a review of deliverance soon. You did a review of deliverance on my own channel. Anyways, as you were saying, you want you wonder why I'm always busting nuts in you because I can't get you pregnant. All right, here we go. Top eight <laughs> answers on the board. Here's the question. Oh my god, name something Colonel Sanders likes to put on his chicken and his lover. Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the same fucking thing. God damn it. <laughs> Seasoning? I don't know. Gary. Gravy. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that you took that. Damn it! <laughs> you gotta Pudding. be quicker than that. <laughs> oh shit, Gary! Pudding. 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 Oh yeah, okay. that's what he said. Okay, and awesome. What did you say? Seasoning. Seasoning. Okay. Uh, salt and spices. Ding. Number three answer. Wow, Gary. Uh, pudding. <laughs> no, not on. Here. got number one, Danny. Gravy? No, I would announce it if it was number one. Oh. Gravy? Ding! Number two answer. Oh. Shano uh. gets the point. Number one answer was sauce or ranch dressing. Why didn't I fucking say sauce? Oh, I can see. I'm why. a dumbass. I can see why the ranch dressing. Oh fuck! Oh, it's so good and tasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Then Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that might be referred to as juicy. Juice? But boobies. <laughs> I knew Gary would say that too. Hey, titties are good. It's just unfortunate that the first thing I thought of was booty shorts that had the words juicy and, emblazoned uh, upon them. If the guy died, you grab the fucking uh, juggalos like that and you squeeze them real tightly. Okay. Oh, for God's so, sake, scary. Okay, <laughs> so juice. Butts and boobs. No, oh, wow. no, 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 actually, ju okay, butts and boobs. I can somewhat count it as number seven. Hmm. A person. <laughs> as attached to a person. As I mean, Mary yeah, and Shane yeah. gets a point. <laughs> There's yeah, no juice on here. That's respectable. Yeah. What really no juice? Interesting. Okay, yeah, no, one, I mean, no fruit? Juicy juice. Maybe like apples or like fruits, maybe. Number one was fruit. Yeah, part. I could have said that. You want to talk about juicy? Every time I see those Japanese porn star women. Oh, oh Jesus. God, here man. we go again. <laughs> yeah, that's some real juicy fruit right there. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oh, God, this question. Here we go. I needed this after last night. Oh, my God. Top, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. No one turned up to your party or showed up to your party. Why? Because they don't love me. <laughs> I was going to say the same fucking thing, um, uh, so <laughs> They forgot? <laughs> oh, fuck. I was going to say the same thing, too. Answer. I was going to say the same fucking thing. You shithead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Shane. <laughs> what I get for what? For being a genius? For saying yeah, gravy yeah. earlier. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Nookum says, you know why no one showed up? ADP, ADP 445 was in the room. <laughs> Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Won't you ever see it right over there? Um, thank you, Alexa. She loves orange Kool-Aid. 
Cherry. Enough said. No, fuck you. Hey, my, it's like a mic's be on my side, we're not, too. We're not going to go into this again. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Fuck holes. I am not touching a topic. No, we are not. Top, top eight answers on the board. Here's the question. Mm -hmm. If you took a naked... <laughs> If you took a naked selfie at a wild party, who would you hate to realize you texted to? Your ex. Um, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw naked grandma. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't know if I should say this because it's kind of bad. Oh, oh God. Type it in the chat then, I guess, if it's really I'm that bad. It on public. I'd say type it in the chat then. Oh my God! Yeah, right. Actually, you know what? That is my answer, and I'm sticking with that. I'm not okay. saying. Okay. Okay. Um. One said. Okay. One said X. Right. Yeah. I, that was me. Ding. Number five answer. Oh. You said kids, Gary. Ding. Number six answer. Yeah, you don't want. You don't want to do that. And no. okay. One said grandma. I'm not sure if I can count this or not. Number one answer was mom, mom slash or dad. I'm not sure if that would count or not. Uh, grandma was a mom, just you know, one step further. Yeah, technically. Then I, okay. Then I will give Shane the point as a, just to be fair. As a, as a oh, technicality. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> quiet. No. <laughs> Why don't you come over here and fucking make me. <laughs> I will when I when I Great you know master. Or not. <laughs> I will when I master ten and I'm playing Blaze Blue. <laughs> Good luck on that, dude. Yeah. I know I can do. Well, then again, I can't play fighting games because the the connection is like the worst. Fucking Shane would beat well, your ass into annihilation, dude. Well, Challenge me and Barf as the Capcom too, and we'll talk otherwise. Yeah, because you keep using bullshit characters. <laughs> what, what, Cable, Hulk, Sentinel, Iron Man, Sentinel, War Machine. Sentinel, Sentinel's bullshit. <laughs> Sentinel's awesome. I, I mean, I probably Shane, I probably won in Mortal Kombat. I mean, you and I are evenly matched in Mortal Kombat. Depending yeah, on we're we're, we're about evenly matched. I, well, I, I kicked Cody's ass so many times in Mortal Kombat. Holy I, shit! I'm garbage at Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, here's a question that Austin may know. Number Give me one, Johnny every... Cage. I'll kick your ass. Probably. Mm -hmm. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question: Name something an obnoxious driver does. Text. Tailgate. Or tailgate. That's a good one too. Speed. No, nah, I wouldn't say speeding on. So like that's really that's really obnoxious. Oh, oh, oh god, I I want to change my answer, but I can't. Speeding. Hold up. Hold up. What, hold up. Austin, what answer do you want to change your what do you want to change your okay, answer? Okay, I want to change my answer to no use of turning signals. Ding! Number one answer cuts you off. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that drives me quite literally pun intended up the goddamn wall. <laughs> There. If you were in the same car as me, Austin, this would drive you up the wall, too. <laughs> more, like, more like off a cliff. Oh, shit. I'm gonna, oh, shit. I'm going to pass out from laughing. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good thing you didn't hear me then. I already got Austin. <laughs> Because when we were saying, we were saying oh, yeah, this, will, this will drive you up the wall, and I said more like drive you off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> we're not playing chicken. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, okay, that was too good. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right, let's keep this. Top out. six answers on the board. Here's the question: Name something a short person might have difficult doing with a tall person. Reaching heights. Uh, what? No, nah, I, I, Twister. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a much better answer. Okay, well, let's get with, with a tall person. Going to a bar, I don't fucking know. A high five. Oh my oh. god. Get it? High five. 69. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. You can do that without him. Wow, that's your answers? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So high five. No, not on here. Uh, what were the other two answers? I was I going to a bar. It was just going to a bar. Yeah, no, I, not on I, here. I, and I and I said Twister. Not on here. <laughs> Damn it, you asshole. Number one. Actually, I'll let you guess since all three of you didn't even have it on here. Okay, at number number one. No, 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 no. No one get. Uh, I, I mean, but, but just guess it. Try again. Guess it. So try again. I don't fucking know. Um. Okay. Okay. A short person having oh, problems no. with a tall person. 
Um, Alexa. It, oh shit! She goes, "What is a 69? I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> Alexa, don't ask. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Gary, number. don't. Yeah, Gary, don't you fucking! I will beat your ass, boy. It's the number that comes. Is you son of a bitch. Okay. Let me say this. It comes after 68. That's all I'm going to say. You ever seen Leon the Professional? Look, you just, Oh, my God. He said it, not me. It comes oh, after 68. Look, Malcolm, you butt fuck. Well, actually, he put it in a... I guess he put it in a... Uh, Luke! Luke! Oh you know what? Let's beat this up. Let's, you know what? Oh, my God. You... Jesus, boy. No, actually, Tyler, you have nothing to apologize. You you just, you know. <laughs> Alexa, my apologies. Yeah. Um, okay. Just, um, yeah. I, can't th- I can't think of it. I'm I can't sorry, Miss Jackson. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jackson. Okay. Number one, dancing. Number two, kissing. Number three, walking or running. Number four, kissing. play basketball. Oh, my. Uh, oh, this was my right. pick. Number four, play basketball. Number five, make <laughs> love. And number six, boxing or fighting. <laughs> you, know, you know what that reminds me of? Oh, no. Remember, remember Jackass Three, Shane? Uh, which one specifically? Like, which okay, when when uh, when Weed Man went on that date with the with the with the, with the short girl <laughs> with the uh, bar. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jackass Three! Oh my God, that it's sad because that guy, you know, who's like, "Hey, you're cheating him." He actually yeah. passed away too. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he, was, he, was a, he was a professional wrestler. That, he was that. That, that big no. fight, that big fight broke out, and then those freaking midget. No. <laughs> oh my god, that oh, scene is hilarious. Little people, dude. I know one of my favorite bits they did on the program, and this was classic from the old show. It was when yeah. Preston walking his dog into the shop. And yes, fucking <laughs> end up coming out. That is a classic genius bit. Yeah, Preston's like, here, hold him. Up. I gotta go really bad, and here comes Weemy. He's like. And he's dressed up, so he's like, "All right, thanks, buddy, thanks a lot." And the guy's just like, "He's just like, <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> see, that's why, that's why they're so brilliant because of social commentary." Yeah, uh, that's, they did it on their on the actual show. It was a, it, what was it? Um, they were in the there was one incident on the show. Preston was eating a fucking big burger, and he had his shit really bad. He went to the porta potty, and all of a sudden. Oh. Wee Man. I remember that. Yeah. Hey, he goes so bad. Also, Wee Man comes out, <laughs> 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 and the guys just start. People just start. Laughing. He's just like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh my god! Okay, Man, get the good old days of Jackass. I miss those days. Top nope. seven answers on the board. Here's the question. I can't believe this. Tell me a part of your body you can hang a donut on. Wiener. Wiener. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang it, guys. Oh, well, that's not number one. Okay, arc, uh, uh, finger. Uh, I was going to say number one. Shane got it. Hey. I thought they say arm, then I thought finger. I was like, God damn it, Shane. Wiener is number two. <laughs> oh, wait, who's, who's better so satire? Jackass or Borat? Jackass is only really Jackass satire. No, it's not satire. It's not, and that's Borat. what they do. Borat, social satire. Borat yeah. is mainly satire. Oh, Borat's satire, yeah. yeah. Entirely. The, sequ- the sequel is pretty fucking funny, too, I gotta say. I have to I see the sequel. I haven't seen it. It's funny. Okay. okay, here we go. Top six S's on the board. Here's the question. If a stripper called herself the Easter Bunny, name something she might use in her act. Carrot. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, Gary said carrot. Someone said eggs. Chocolate. Austin. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do I that. Gonna say, Gene, I was going to say chocolate. Fucking Gene Simmons oh, over right, here. Right. Hey, look. You're okay. You're okay. You're all good, Luke. You're all good, man. J Vader's JV, my boy. Okay. Uh, Austin, you said chocolate? Okay. Um, yeah. Number five, candy. Oh. Number three, Gary. Uh, this is the answer, really. A big old carrot. <laughs> number two, ding, egg. Shane gets the point. He's in a hey. good game. Number one answer. And I actually got this one. A bunny costume. Oh. Well, that just seems well, too I, easy. I, I, <laughs> I saw this. Uh, it was a POV perspective. It was, this, um, it was a JV actress. She dressed as a bunny rabbit. And- oh, no. <laughs> Well, I saw I saw one POV where a guy dressed up as Elmo was getting blowjob by Katy Perry. <laughs> a Katy Perry look like. <laughs> hey, uh, can you imagine Jay Vader's in a bunny outfit? 
That's okay. I, I'm waiting for him to say something funny. I know he will. How oh God! Go? Here we go. What? Let's get Lucas dressed up in one of those pink bunny outfits, like in a <laughs> like Christmas story. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, that's funny. I don't care at all. Oh, you get out of here, Tanner. <laughs> that's what that Shane would have done, or Gary. <laughs> I, I don't do anyone. I don't I don't do puns. Puns just absolutely like they physically hurt me. I have free cookies for everyone except for Psycho Mike. <laughs> I actually did ask her politely when she put on her stats about that. I was like, "Can I have some?" She said, "Yeah," because you were nice about it. Aww. Only if you give me five hundred dollars. Oh, that's worth it. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question: Name some name something Kermit the Frog might say to Miss Piggy. Oh, let me repeat that question. Name something. Gary. That Kermit the Frog might say Miss Piggy does just like a pig. Squeal. Um, I can't think of the, the moment I just I, I don't I don't have anything, so I'm gonna say pork in it. <laughs> squeal like a pig. I'm just gonna say it's deliverance. Enough said. Gary. <laughs> Where's my dueling banjos? <laughs> You'd be Jimi Hendrix on a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> oink oink. Oh my here, speaking of here, speaking of oink. <laughs> you're you're being so crude right now. <laughs> Those fucking bread flakes. Oh it's bread flakes, that's why. Okay, Gary said oink oink. Um well Austin actually got that ahead because he said snort. He said or squeal. squeal. Or squeal. squeal. Same difference. Making noises. Remember. <laughs> I'm going to make it squeal like a pig. Whee! <laughs> Why do you think I just said deliverance? <laughs> exactly. Have fun with this table contest. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Uh, Shano says pork in it. Ba-ding! Number six answer. Honks. Hey. <laughs> Austin gets the point. Ba-ding! Number two is snort. Number one, eats like a pig. That was I got that one, actually. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here we go. <laughs> Oink a doink. By the way, Romy is a bigger pig than Miss Pig. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, he ain't wrong. <laughs> even my mom's like, your mom's like, you know why you eat big cereal bowls like that when you eat brand Because you're a big pig. I'm like, what the hell are you calling a pig? <laughs> I can agree with that. Be quiet. It- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, he Barbros. He sent me his picture of Gary when I farted. Top eight answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Mrs. Claus. Sure is red. Wait, hold on. Can I repeat that again? Name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I get to the I get to the gear. Uh, the gears I can Gary's only imagine head. what Gary's gonna fucking say. Yeah, I'm just gonna say where's red. I got nothing. <laughs> hey, Jay Vader says Romy is a six. My pig. my last two brain cells are not working correctly. <laughs> I wish I I wish I, I was a pig because their orgasms last fifteen to thirty five. I literally minutes. have to break away from my Scorpio nature for a moment. I have to say, <laughs> Robbie is a good cook. Yeah, He's cooking. That's what, okay. Oh, oh shit, that's a good one. I have to say cooking. Uh, okay, and Jano. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, likes to wear red. Um, her ensemble. Ding! Oh, okay. Number I'm three. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary, food or cook or cookies. Ding! Number four. Austin gets the point. Oh, wow. hey. <laughs> what is the number one answer? Even I got this one. He likes them curves. Oh, of course. Oh, uh, well. She's dick. See, it's like, oh, God. <laughs> see, you see where my brain's at. There it's we go a, it's again. A, it's not over there. It's it's over here. In Bofas. Gary is a sexy... <laughs> Look at Jay Fair. <laughs> it's actually Cougar. Hey, I'll take it. Wait, wait, wait. Romy's weight is even bigger than Miss Piggy. Get the fuck out of here. Well, shit. well, if Jay calls me sheep, that means I'm very bad. You get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get a rolled up newspaper and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> no, don't. No, get a. No, better yet. Here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I got two uh, of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little Bo Peep lost her sheep. 
And when I went over, I told her, it's okay, honey. You won't need to make a peep. Oh, <laughs> Science of the Lambs. It's the sequel. Oh, God. <laughs> the sequel. Oh, my God. Here we go. Top seven answers on the board. Here's a question. Name a fruit a man might use to refer to a part of a woman's anatomy. You all better not fucking say pineapple. I swear, I'm, this game will be over. And then if you say pineapple. It's not I, even on here, you I, dumb I, shit. I don't know why I can't think of it right now. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. Um, I had it. I had the visual for my head. This is so easy. I, 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 I know, but I can't. I, I, I had the I visual for it. When Gary started yelling, I my I completely blanked out. What was okay. the question? <laughs> name a fruit. Name a fruit a man might use to refer to a part of a woman's <laughs> anatomy. Peaches. That's my guess. Peaches. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna um, say pineapple. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna say apple. Oh my god. Okay. And Austin, you said? I said pineapple. Just a fuck. Pineapple's not even on here. Jesus. I know. I decided to fuck with Gary. He did, he's memeing right now. It's Number two is yes. peach. Gary. Peaches. Number two answer. Number one answer. It's so obvious. Fucking melons. That's what I was trying to think of. God damn it. Everybody, fucking people in the chat are saying pineapple. Just a fuck. <laughs> I know. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's hilarious. Oh. Oh, speaking of funny, here we go. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Oh, God. We asked 100 men, if the woman next door is a nudist, name something you hope she does outdoors. Suntans. Uh, yeah, suntans. Barbecue cookout. <laughs> oh, that, that would be sexy. That would be sexy. <laughs> Kiss the cook, indeed. Hey, yeah. I, hey. Get bear. <laughs> what? I'm going to say she's got to dance. That wouldn't be a bad You know answer. what? I'm not sure if I can count that as number one, but I I will. Number one was exercise. Oh, okay. Ooh, and with dancing, I will count it. Okay. okay fair enough. That's fair that, enough. That's a, that's a good answer. Uh, what were the other answers? Okay, number two, I sun said suntan. Yeah, oh, that's sun right. Number three, yard work or garden. Number four, bending over. <laughs> number five, of washing course. Our, number five, washing a car. Carl's Jr. commercial. Oh. And number, three, and number six. <laughs> Pumping ugly. <laughs> with a record selection and a miracle reaction, I'm dancing with myself. You be quiet. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, okay. Top I four answers it. on the top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Give me a word that rhymes <laughs> with summer. Bummer. Ding, number one. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, give me a and again. give us a chance. That's what you fucking get again. Tommy's <laughs> one of those pigs. You can hey, okay. <laughs> Warthog. <laughs> Warthog. <laughs> Warthog. Hey, he was a character in Twisted Metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we asked 100 married women, what would you do if your best friend said she had a crush on your husband? Wait, um, to walk off. Wait, wait, repeat that again so I can. We asked 100 married women, what would you do if your best friend says she had a crush on your husband? Threesome. Oh, of course he's <laughs> sorry. Uh, tell her to stay away. I have no fucking idea. I had so um, okay, man, because look at this I, way: the husband can fuck the pussy. Oh, so, uh, Jesus, oh, Gary! We have to get into details. The other, guy, the other guy can stop it. Oh, come on, stop come it. On. Stop it. He can just stop it. Stop it. Tanner says, "Call Ashley Madison." <laughs> but if you, but if you That's bust, a funny bust, answer. Bust in the other. No, one. okay, come on, man. The good news is, is Gary, would you shut the fuck up? But I'm trying to make light of the situation. Gary, light like my ass. I'm trying. No, to light is more light than you. I'm just trying to see the most appropriate manner. Though. Oh, appropriate, Meyer. <laughs> what you just said was not appropriate at all. <laughs> not even close. Wait, you mean your two buddies? You know, you know. I don't need anything. You can say yeah. the Gary, thing without going into Gary. detail. Okay. Call rule, th call rule 24? You mean 34? Okay. 34. <laughs> Who's Ashley? No, okay. if, if that's a joke, Ashley Madison is okay. a pretty pathetic. Well, okay. Make a better, take a bowling ball. Would you shut the fuck up? The, the no! Shut Gary! No! No! 
the one, the one ball. The one <laughs> yeah, you know, Alex is like appropriate question. One ball goes on top, you know. Would you and, shut the fuck up? You got gutter balls. You told me to go into a much more appropriate discussion. I'm using a bowling ball as an example. Oh, you get the fuck. A bowling ball is a good example. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Austin, uh, gutter ball. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Here are the here are the, here are the answers. Number eight, feel f flattered. Number seven, cry. Number six, unfriend her. Number five, I'm not kidding. Kill or run her over. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's a bit extreme. <laughs> Number four, laugh or smile. Number three, you can have them. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you something right now. It ain't my first time I got my ass kicked. So, <laughs> nothing new yeah, to me. Yeah, it means that you didn't get your ass kicked hard enough. Number two, Austin, <laughs> discuss or back, tell him to back off. Number one, I'm not kidding you. This is the answer. You ready? Yeah. Punch the hoe. <laughs> oh, my God. These are legit questions. I'm not. Wow. So, get Austin, gets the, Austin, gets the, Austin has the winning point. Hey! Wow, you won. So he has the winning point. Yeah, so like I have, to, I have to, I have the game winning point. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something a man polishes until it shines. His car. Ding! Number one. Austin <laughs> is the winner. I was gonna Just, say. Uh, I was gonna say his bald fucking head. <laughs> I was, gonna, I was waiting for Gary to say I something. I didn't even hear the question because I got fucking distracted by everybody telling me, oh, there's kids watching and all this other nonsense. So who cares if they're watching? They know what to expect with this show, Gary. Hey, wait, I'm wait, I'm wait. Wait. To people's nonsense. So what was the question again? I didn't even hear it. Okay. Name something a man polishes until it shines. <laughs> I got a car. Oh my god. I was I was actually gonna say bald head, but okay. That's, what that's I was number, that's say number six. Yeah. That's actually number six. Uh, let me just okay, there's a couple other questions that are really funny. Okay. Here we go. Top four. Name something a wife helps her husband put on. His yeah. pants. I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> that is number one, but a, the other a answers a dress. A tie was number one. Okay. Oh. A dress? What the fuck, Gary? <laughs> I think you have that. I think you have that backwards. I'm yeah, no sure, shit. I am sure there's husbands out there who are properly married who love to cross dress as a hobby. Okay. So I mean, Edward. I, mean, <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Edward. <laughs> Wait, what? You, great can, flick too. you can be a straight male, and you can cross dress as a hobby or an occupation. Okay. I'm, not even, I'm not even making this up as what? a. I'm not no, I know. I, I, let me read, I completely agree. Let me read these other answers because these, these are right. funny. Number four, lotion. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Number three, weight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. And number two, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these are legit. Cardinals. You know, funny, funny enough, when I was getting my, when I was actually, you know, having my, well, yeah. Like, little get together the problem was is that the girl that i was with she didn't have the right size oh because, right size well that's why you need little a little a little hercules so, yeah, so hercules, I, mean, hercules. Hercules. <laughs> I did time. it's actually a good thing for a woman to give you assistance with that it really is you would yeah. know about that right gary yeah because i actually had experience no, 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 legit experience. Okay, here's the other question that I know you guys will have a kick out of. Here we go. Top five answers. Name something. Name something the cat complains about to the pet psychologist. Wait, what? He doesn't feed me enough. That's a good one. Uh, okay. Lousy owner number two. Okay. Ooh. Here's my answer. Doesn't leave me the fuck alone. Meow. <laughs> Gary, uh, I hate yeah. the fact that he is like not entirely wrong. Okay. Name someone. <laughs> wait, name name someone or or name someone that cat complains about to the pet psychologist. No, no. I actually got this uh, number one on this. I actually don't know. What is it? The damn dog. <laughs> damn dog. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no belly ropes. Number five, going to the vet. Number four, the damn mouse. Number three, annoying kid. Uh, and you yeah. got the rest of them. So there you go. That survey says you guys go on ahead.
Okay, Austin, why don't you go? I was going to talk about some, but I got to take a piss real quick. So, Austin, why don't you tell your story about what happened? Oh, my oh, shift story. Oh, man. So, guys, um, I work, I won't say exactly where, but I work in the restaurant business as a host. And most of the time, like 95% of the time, all shifts are either smooth. I mean, there's some, there are some uh, roadblocks in the way, but we, but we hurdle over them. We do. Last night, however, was the shittiest night I have had in almost three years I've had working as a host. For one reason. Well, for a couple of reasons. One, so I don't know if you guys still have this where you live, but in every establishment, you're required to have a face mask. Which yes. is which is self-explanatory because COVID is still out there, but the pandemic is still out there. Indeed. However, people still come in without their face mask on. And when I ask, when I tell somebody you're a face mask, it's like, do you have any? I'm just thinking, it's we're over here to say you're not prepared about this thing, uh, really. And guy even worse. So we were supposed to have three runners. I was essentially the shift leader. The filler is essentially the leader of the front desk. I was there at the front desk. I had put somebody as the greeter in case if the line gets really long. Right. And I tried to I tried to ask a buddy of mine, I won't say their name, to, to basically we have an iPad, which is an update, which it's actually like it's playing like a, a real life restaurant simulator. That's what it's kind of like. But I think it's a lot of fun to do. I asked her, I need you to update. And she was actually being defiant of my orders to her. Big word. Huh? Defiant. That's a big word. Yeah, no kidding, right? That's not a big word. <laughs> it's a big word because I don't hear that much. <laughs> I'm not saying I never heard it's it. It's not a so, common word. So. <laughs> I, yeah. heard it. I don't hear it as much, though. It's not a big word. That's like, The mental gymnastics you're making me do right now. <laughs> oh, fuck, when I was writing, I never used a big word. The only big word I ever used was melancholy. That was it. Oh, God. Anyways, uh, so basically what had happened... Was that I'd asked her to give me an update because I mean I was giving quotes about twenty minutes. We went over quote, and I was getting my uh, manager, my, my manager Jason. He knows it's because like Kim and I we, we were together like that. Like Kim and I like we're like we're like in sync when we uh, work together. And um, my manager Talia, who works at the front desk, I love her to death. Do not get me wrong, Talia, Jason, I love you guys to death. Seriously, you guys oh, are yeah, great cool. managers. I love. I knew you. I knew you were gonna fucking say that too, Romy. <laughs> Gary, you. you were trying to say something? I love you too. I love you more. Um, and so what had happened was this. So uh since my since since my two friends didn't want to update, I asked him to update. My manager Lily snatched the iPad away from him and said, You're not a runner, you're not a desker, you're just you're just a front desk manager. And I was and I was thinking, dude, like where's and because I asked my friend to go update and she said, No, I don't want to do this. She was like, Oh, do I have to? I was like, more I was like, dude, I need a goddamn update right now. Well, if you're working the front, I mean, if, okay, what did this person choose this position specifically? Well, here's the thing. Um, when the schedules are put out, it's very random of how it's put out. You're either a runner, a greeter, or a filler. It's always randomized every time. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get to choose if you're a filler. Like I was just, I was just selected to be a filler. Yeah, I was just selected to be a filler. Yeah, and I don't mind filling. I really don't. Cause yeah. at my old restaurant job. And by the way, folks, on a personal note, I can actually test the Austin because I used to be in the restaurant industry too. But my position was different. But go ahead. But essentially, uh, she was giving me an attitude, and I, 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 I almost said this to her: "Get out there and give me a fucking update." I almost yelled at her, almost, but I backed off, and she took the she took the iPad finally, and then my manager Jason comes and is like, "I'm done playing games, giving the iPad." I was like, "Thank you," and once he went out there, everything went everything went smoothly right after that, <laughs> and still, oh my god, and the even worse thing was here's the thing, uh, my other friend who again I will not mention, she was actually doing things like 95% of the time, but but apparently according to my manager, she was dealing with things outside of work, which. I get, but here's the thing. My other friend who was defined on my order said she was on a double. And I wanted to say this to her so badly. Yesterday, I was not only doubling Saturday, but I had strained my neck so bad. I had neck pain and back pain throughout the entire day. I'm just going to say this now. When you're in a job, yeah. and believe me, this has happened in my experience, but when you're in a job, 
my thing that I've learned, I had to learn this the hard way, is that if you're dealing with personal bullshit at your home, whatever's going on, no matter how cool it is, you got to learn how to keep your emotions outside of the job. Because when you're entering a job, you have exactly. to maintain that level of professionalism, especially with whatever position that you are dealing with. You can't bring your personal affiliations to, and that's a big word too, affiliation. <laughs> and here's the thing, Gary, and to be fair, to be fair, she was actually the one who was having problems. She was actually she was actually doing good. She actually was. I mean, there may be only one or two times throughout the shift where I had to say I'd ask her a couple of things. I'd ask her one thing a couple of times. It was the other friend though that was just like even my manager was saying to her was was saying, "Dude, I've had enough." I was like, "Trust me, you're not alone." And I even said to him, "Dude." nights like like this is the one night i've had where i was like yeah i'm gonna be bailing from this place soon at this point and i think it's well worth it because here's the thing yeah. about the restaurant industry and i try and tell this to almost anybody when you're doing a job or if you're trying to start your first job or do something my best advice is don't do anything that involves retail specifically working oh. in the restaurant field because when you start working in the restaurant field, it's either going to go either good or it's either going to go very rough. But for me, in my experience, it was quite rough. And here's the thing, Gary. The, this first place, you guys know this. This is my first legit job, like ever, which I'm like, I and I feel stupid for not doing this earlier because so I could have gotten more experience. I'm Guys, everyone on the live chat right now, I'll be 29 this year. I'm not oh, kidding. Good. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll be 29 this year. Yeah, I'm 28. Um, and <laughs> it looks like a butthole. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh my god, Romy. Ew. <laughs> he can make it talk. <laughs> oh my god. Kane, what are we doing here? <laughs> I I constantly ask myself. <laughs> yeah, right. But then base and then and then apparently my Jason who has become a good buddy, like a really good buddy of mine. Um basically like we like ourselves as essentially Bucky and Captain America. That's how we are at the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> so if I say this one particular line, will he go berserk? Well, well, well I mean, that's, Winter, that's Winter Soldier. I'm well, here's the thing: it's Bu it's Bucky after he gets free of that mind control. It's right. Afterwards, and um, basically what happened was that my friend was complaining, which I was like, "What?" She was complaining that, oh my god, that she couldn't carry out an iPad to update the restaurant and take menus with her to take guests, and I just thought, "That's the, uh, like not only is that bullshit, but here's the thing." She wanted to fill in the mornings. That's what she would have had to have done in the mornings. Yeah, I was going to say, if you can't be doing that, then what are you here for? <laughs> yeah, like, because you know, I used to fill in the mornings after I after I completed my training for filling, which I was actually trained really, really well. I, I, I essentially had three trainers. My buddy, Louis, who I'd missed a death. My buddy, Christina, and my friend, Aaron, actually. They all left. They were like, they were like the masters of their craft. And they taught me how to do everything very well. Every morning, I would go around with an iPad, update the tables, especially, and I was by myself even when we got rushes in the morning time. That's even that's even worse. And when she was complaining, like my, my my buddy Jason told me, I was like, "That's bullshit." Like I used to like when I was running around on Saturday night with my back pain, I ran around, I hauled ass around, checked the men's room. What the fuck are you doing, Gary? <laughs> what are you doing? I, yeah. Yeah, I hauled ass around the restaurant with an iPad, and I told my buddy what was open, and I ran people through their tables. You didn't hear me fucking complain not yeah. doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and quite literally, and you know what the strange thing is? The bigger parties, we had parties of like nine and eights. They were actually really nice, too, which is the most strange thing. And there was a guy who came in without a face mask, right? We had that multiple times, by the way, and we keep running out of face masks because people are either ignorant or they don't give a fuck, which I don't get. Um, but this one person comes and after I paged him, didn't have his face mask on. I said, sir, you need to have your face. And the thing is, he was sitting inside. We, had, we I, said, I signed him for inside. And I said, well, he called me and I said, well, I get that, sir, but you didn't have a face mask on as you're inside. It's like, yeah, but you called me. Don't fucking matter. If you want to go inside, wear a goddamn face mask, you dumb I, shit. I, I kept telling you, I was like, will you call me? I was like, oh my well, God. Yeah, and plus, here's the thing. What does that have to do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What does that have to do with anything? When you're going to a restaurant, and here's the God's honest truth mm -hmm. the rules are okay, you're going to a restaurant, but here's the thing. 
they said, once you sit at your table, you're allowed to take it off. Yes. So, so once you enter in, you're only wearing it for like, what, a fucking like a minute or so, like one or two minutes tops total. That, you thank you, Terry. In, Get set it down and you can take it off. Simple. But if you're walking right around, just put it the fuck back on. Or if you don't want to wait in with the mask, go the fuck outside until you're texted. Simple yeah. logic. It's something that people don't seem to understand at all. I mean, especially in you know areas like that. And the thing is, is that folks, the mask doesn't hurt you. It doesn't. It bite. doesn't. It doesn't make you suffocate. It doesn't do any harm. It's there to protect you from you know. Getting diseases and other and others. Yes, and it, others, yes. It protects you from getting diseases, and it also protects you from well, other stuff like smelling your own parts. <laughs> well, and yeah. here's the thing as well. Here's the thing as well, guys. Uh, my manager also noted this very well because I filled uh the not this past Saturday but the Saturday previously, right? And thankfully, I had an awesome fucking greeter the entire time. He knows this very well. When I get stressed, I cannot focus. And last night, oh my God, I got stressed the fuck out. Mainly because I didn't have him updating like I want him to because my other manager kept snatching the iPad away and no one would pick it up at all. And I, I was telling people, please, guys, I need an update. No one picked it up until I said, give me the damn iPad. I was like, thank you. And oh. once he started updating, guess what? Everything was smooth after that. Well, there you go. And like he was even telling my my other manager, okay, one thing I've noticed about Austin is this true. When he's calm, everything goes great. Last mm -hmm. Saturday, not this previous Saturday, but the last Saturday, everything was smooth as a baby's bottom. Booby. Quite literally. <laughs> be quiet. But this past Sunday, because of everything kind of giving me a lot of stress, I was just like, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do because we're over our quote times, and even my friend. What are you doing? Uh, when the iPad was really right in front two. of her, when the iPad was in front of my friend, guess what happened? When I asked her to go, when I asked her to give her me an update, she walked away. <laughs> wow. I wanted, I told my manager and a couple of uh, servers, I was like, I wanted to kill everybody at the front desk. Is everybody. I'm going to have to choke the bitch. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm yeah. Sorry. And it was that night that told me, I because I was taught, because I, because what was it? Um, the past two days, the, the past two nights when my manager drives home, because he lives in Boca, by the way, which is like a 30, like 25, 30 minute drive from where West Palm is. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was pretty. I. <laughs> I really do feel like I'm losing brain cells when I'm Shane, I swear to God, only Gary and I will laugh at that fucking Damn. shit. Kane, <laughs> as Ryan Dunn once said, we're surrounded, surrounded by morons. By morons. <laughs> uh, but I was talking about the phone last night. I said to him, dude, after tonight, it really showed me that, uh, that I'm leaving by summertime. I'm leaving by then. Yes. Because literally, I mean, because like I said again, this was a, I won't say where I'm at again. Like these three know. This was yeah. a great first job. However, this is just a stepping stone, and I need to move yeah. on from this place. Shane, sure is like, like this is like this like this was the shift <laughs> from hell. It was a shift from hell. Like not only for the first hour and a half, everything went down Shit's Creek so fast, but then after that, everything went smooth again. Yes. I'm looking to have a shit from hell. I know exactly what you mean. So that so that's what happened to me, guys, yesterday, and I never like here's the thing. 95% of the time, I have good shifts. We stumble, we, but we make it through all right. 5% of the good. time, uh, well, my God. But 5% <laughs> of the time is we'll have a shift from hell. This was the worst shift I've probably ever had. Ooh. It was the worst. And I actually texted uh, Alexa about it uh, last night going like, dude, I, yeah, I was stressed the fuck out about this stuff. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I texted my I texted my boss Nathan about it. I texted, although I did text my friend who actually was doing her job. I was like, "Hey, thank you for actually doing your work. Thank you." If but yeah, that's what happened to me, guys, last night. It was just it was just fucking terrible. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If Gary's pregnant, then who's the father? Alex. <laughs> Ultron. <laughs> Ultron. <laughs> Yeah, guys, that was my shift from hell last night. I mean, I never have shifts like that. But this was the, this was the shift that taught me. Yeah, I need to get out of this place soon. 
Bless. <laughs> okay. When you bust, when she rides you and she squeezes her butt cheeks and she's running you nonstop and you bust the nut. Yeah, I mean, guys, don't worry about it. I mean, bad shifts happen, but this was this is the one that showed me I need to get the fuck out of there. Soon, too. Totally understandable. Yeah, but that was my tale of... That was my tale from hell from last night. Tale of two <laughs> Nice try, Alexa. <laughs> Hey, we'll go on to a happier topic after these guys are done with, with one of theirs. I got some stuff. I want to hear one of yours. Well, what do you folks want to hear about? I got some. None. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the Gary. Gary Boo Boo. Booby Baby. He's the baby boo. Okay, I'm sorry that I interrupt you because I'm a big, loud mouth platypus anus butt. Is that bad, da? That's redundant. I think my, I think this picture explain, explains it all. <laughs> is, is that bad, da? He's trying to lick some uh, residue <laughs> off. <laughs> Okay, he he's a giraffe. Okay, here's <laughs> I can talk about the My Family's Got Guts. I got the prizes of Legend of Hint Temple. I got Pepsi's newest flavor beverage. Or I can talk about and I can talk or I can talk about Sting. God damn it, Sing Street. Hmm. I wouldn't mind about Sing Street. I Whatever that has pineapple flavor. <laughs> so that's Pepsi then. That's <laughs> Pepsi loves mango. Do, 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 do. For God's sake. <laughs> what the fuck? Gary, he's, he's not having it. <laughs> no, he's not. A lot of people are saying, okay, uh, a lot of people are actually saying Sing Street. Sing Street, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about Sing Street right now because. La La Land, I, take I, notes. I, huh? La La Land, take notes. It's not the. You, you guys are comparing different movies. Stop it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, That's what you get. When it comes to Sing Street, ladies and gentlemen, I was told about this movie a while back during the time. And the thing is that originally, Kubo and the Two Strings was actually my best film of that whole entire year until I saw Sing Street by somebody who I'm not going to say because I'm not giving them any credit because, well, I don't like them. We, we don't know who he is. <laughs> we do not know who he is. He had his cup of to grab some of the drinks, so he's back. I go bye-bye. Oh, oh, so, ladies and gentlemen, Sing Street, the movie itself, the film has a very simple plot. It's about a boy who's brand new in school, and he sees this girl that lives literally right across the street from where he goes to school. And the thing is that when he saw her, he was obviously hypnotized by her. Mm -hmm. He was very hyperactive, in the words of Thomas Dolby there. He was very hyperactive for this young lady, and he wants to impress her. Because, you know, she was obviously in the whole 80s scene, having the big hair, makeup, etc., etc. And the thing is, is that he talked to the girl, and he's obviously you know, making up this little fib at first, saying that I have this band that I'm in. <laughs> I want to write the song. So, obviously, the girl asked him, sing me Take On Me by AHA. Mm. Was a little bit. Then he met this boy that ended up becoming his manager. And from there, the rest was history when the band started to form. But mm -hmm. here's the, thing. the simple plot is, it's about a boy who wants, who creates a band to impress a girl he likes. That yeah. is the simple plot about this movie. But here's the thing. Though, this film goes a long way. Not just storytelling, but also having that old school coming of age vibe that modern day coming of age films need to fucking learn and how to take care of exactly. And there's a song that was not nominated at the Oscars. Drive it like you stole it. That was oh, one of the biggest. Oh, snow. I wanted that to be nominated well, so bad. I want that one to win. I'll get yeah. to that. But here's the thing though, folks, this film not only goes into different transactions musically, but also goes into different moves, uh, moods on how a person feels about themselves, the dreams they want to accomplish, uh, not only pressing the girl, but things they want to do for themselves, things they want to improve, things that basically lead up to you feel like this film should deserve a sequel, and honestly, it should. Now, the thing is, is that the band started off with the brother, 
who was honestly my favorite supporting character of that whole entire year. Same. Oh, oh he was only, one of my picks, yes. Not only was the sibling connection so incredibly important and very good communication between the actors, but the thing is, is that the way they came off and the support, the care that they have, the fact that his that the older brother cared so much and wanted uh, Cosmo to succeed and get become successful. Because the thing is, is that he realized the older brother, I forgot what his name was, but that was his dream to be in the music industry. But the fact that he sees his little brother going well, in that direction, he wants him to succeed. He got hold back because dealing with the family because of the family bullshit and all that and mm -hmm. until Cosmo came along but here's the thing though his brother teaches him everything about music not only showing him but telling him in so many in-depth details on how to not only get to the girl he likes but also making it big the thing is, is that the mute this film alone really centers and signifies the factor of what it's like to really put in legit actual hard work into writing a song into producing music and what sounds good, what doesn't sound good, experimenting, being creative, trial and error process. This one really does that to a very exquisite detail because that's exactly what goes on. See, unlike fucking music today, which is complete bullshit, they think, oh, one push the button. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what the hell is that called? It's not just EDM. It's in fucking music. Just EDM. The problem is, is that all these people who come out looking like goddamn bums, I'm not going to say people in the music industry today, a lot of them look like fucking bums. See, the thing is that oh, you know, you've got to have an image for yourself. And the thing is, is that this movie also goes to the trials of finding that image. And they went through so many different details. The first one, they were obviously taking inspiration from Duran Duran, the Red Over Yes. Monsters. Riddle the model, Duran Duran, makeup, glossy hair. A lot of new wave stuff. That was the first. But here's the second stage. She wanted a song that was something more happy, sad. And for all you people out there who don't know what happy, sad is, happy, sad is basically a song to where the music itself is all happy, poppy, you know, all giddy. But when you listen to the lyrics, it's all sad and depressing. So that's exactly what happy, sad is. Hmm. It's the world of music. Oh, I thought happy sad is when you hire a prostitute and you're about to bust a nun and she kicks you in the nuts and runs away. No, yeah. you, know, you know what my happy sad is? Oh, no. I already know what it is. Go ahead. Getting, getting a chance to meet the Asian honey of my dreams and then all of a sudden she doesn't... She doesn't Fucking even, knew uh, it! I, I knew it. Again, that's the story of my life, so there you go. So, oh, yeah, bear. Well, it's true. But, ladies and gentlemen, the happy sad that they were going through is they obviously went through the cure phase and the cure is probably one of the best examples that they can give for happy set, you know, God, the dark wave. I can talk about the cure all day. One of my all time favorite fucking bands that I have for door. Mm. Oh, they wrote the song, a beautiful sea, great piece. Then from there, they obviously went into the whole entire hole and oats phase. New up much more of that catchy beat new waves. They Thus leads to drive it like you stole it, which obviously if you God. saw the video, you saw the video in that whole scene, it was back to future written all over it. How it the fuck was this not even nominated? Absolutely, it was absolutely beautiful to no end. Not only is the song perfect, but the it was the best song of the year. The movie itself just goes into so many different things musically, storytelling, care care into the whole entire characters itself. The love you grow in actual. The thing about this movie is that I love is that it brings believability. That's something that you want to get in coming of age. Is you want that believability where you can find the relation and get a sense of relate relate relation to them. That's the beauty. It was old school coming of age as fine. It obviously showcases that. Uh, what the fuck was his name? Who directed this film? John Carney. He's known for doing music movies. He also did yeah. once as well, which is John also Carney, really good. John Carney obviously knew what he was doing because he mm -hmm. took the elements of what made coming of age films back in the day so memorable and adapted it into this one. And it was done perfectly. Well, that's like I said, that's normally his uh theme. He always does movies based centers around music. And you know what? I have to check out more of his films after Oh that. yeah, John Carney he did once. Well, that came out a while ago. I think that 2008, 2007 or something? Let me see here. Uh, 2007. But folks, if you look at this film in a perspective, 
point of view. And if you obviously look in my eyes, this film, it was my best film until I was 16. You're welcome. I gave, I gave this film... <laughs> I obviously gave this film a perfect six for so many different things, not just personally, but also perfect five out of seven. But I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> this film was just absolutely incredible to watch. I fucking love it. I can watch this film. Oh my god, how many times? It just never <laughs> enough of that. Story. Countless times. You don't oh get so you hardly get stories like that anymore at all. And this was truly something special, and that's one thing a lot of these modern day directors need to learn from. Just look at a modern film like Sing Street, and you'll get an idea exactly of how you should compose a coming of age story. Yep. So there you have it. Okay. Understood. Uh, uh, Shane, did you want me to? Go? Okay, you know what? Because yeah. I want Shane to, <laughs> I want Shane to be involved with this too. I okay. need to go over this list. I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, the Watch Mojo list. I, I gotta send this list to uh, Cody Ortul because he ain't gonna believe this shit either. But watch Mojo's top twenty video games of all time. I oh, was Lord. at a loss for fucking words. Uh, I can only imagine what uh, what they actually are. Oh, just you wait. It's just like this list was made was geared towards the adolescents who haven't played a video game prior to the year 2000 or in 2010 almost. That's probably what's up. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Oh god. Number 20 Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Hmm. Top 20? Hmm. I don't know if I go that far. So so what is this again? Top 10 top 20 the, worst the video 20, games. No, the 20 greatest video games of all time. That is a phenomenal game, Symphony of the Night. It is. Yeah, but what game? What what game? Oh, what's what, over it? Yeah. No, no, no. What drew inspiration over that? What was the inspiration for that game? Super Metroid. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stand here and take a piss, and you people send me pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I sent one. <laughs> Number nineteen. How the fuck is this not in the top five? Number nineteen. Doom. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Number eighteen, Mass Effect two. Top twenty. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd put more like top thirty, but that's like an amazing game. Number seventeen. This should be in the top ten. Resident Evil four. Uh -oh. I think it said would definitely be in the top ten. Oh boy. What? Oh god. <laughs> Uh-oh. It sounds like the lawnmower's out of gas. <laughs> God damn it, Paul. Look what happened. They got the damn gases all out again. Oh <laughs> Romy God. is the pinky for doing... No, I'm the Baron. <laughs> oh, my Pinkies God. are assholes. Oh, I'm the Mickey boy. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. wow. Number wow. six. Number wow. 16. That's what my stomach sounds like. Okay. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal crackers in crack That's very interesting because what I know, I know a lot of people who really love. All right, so to be fair, I've only played one Animal Crossing game, only one. However, I couldn't get into Animal Crossing. I, it's not my. It's not for me. I I get. I definitely understand why people love it. There's a lot I to love about don't, the game. But okay. no, I mean, it I is, do. Is, I mean, I do as well, but it's just not for me. Yeah, it's game, not for me either. It's it's just not. It's just, it's not for me. That game is above Doom and Resident Evil 4. Mm. I don't agree with. I'm not. Yeah, to... Gary, I know. Number 15. Oh, boy, God. Bloodborne. Fucking really? <laughs> I mean, I. Well, here's the thing. I adore Bloodborne and Ellen, but over Doom and over Resident Evil 4, no. Number 14. God of War 2018. Interesting pick. I think it's kind of too soon, but okay. yeah, way yeah. too soon. But it's an amazing. It's an, I love that game to death. My, my game of the decade, easily. Hey, same, man. Number 13, Shane, you be quiet. Number 13, Grand Theft Auto 5. That's an amazing game, GT. Uh, it was all right. <laughs> Get out of here. No. Oh, excuse me. Number 12. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't recognize that as a number. <laughs> that Speaking of pineapples, Psycho Mike, put some lube on a pineapple, turn it upside down, sit on it, and you will pull it out. 
asshole. <laughs> Was well, see this go doink? <laughs> big smoking big doinks and all this. I almost fall out of my freaking chair. <laughs> oh my god. Number 12. <laughs> god damn it. Number 12 is The Last of Us. Really? Interesting. Number I, mean, 11, I love that game, but I don't think it's top 20. Number 11, I agree. Street Fighter 2. That deserves to be in the top 10 or top 20. Absolutely. Contra controversy. Yeah. I think part 2 is better. Damn, that, that is a very hot take. Wait, Why, on. did you play part two, Shane? I don't need to to have a deformed opinion about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Shane. Shane. You do. What? You do have to actually play the game. <laughs> uh, you won't catch me playing it. Shane. Wait. Shane. Sh wait. Sh <laughs> doinky? I don't know what's it. Uh, number 10, Pokemon Red and Blue. Those are great really? games. Really? They're I'm, great games. Yeah. That's in the top fucking 10? I don't, I don't know I don't if know. I... I'm not sure if I'd put it that high myself personally, but... i put like 20, maybe 30. Maybe. Yeah, I do know that uh, uh, film, right? Yes, that was Ron Howard's directory to be. Number nine, I... Number nine, yes, this is top 10. Half-Life 2. Absolutely. I agree. That's, it's not in my top 10, however... It is. An am it's one of the greatest games ever made. There's no doubt. It was that generation's... What the fuck? Number eight. We will get to that if I ever get to my most overrated games. Number eight, Halo Combat Evolve. No. I think it's one of the most overrated games of all time. Overreach? Man, you folks and your pineapples. <laughs> Over <laughs> Halo Reach? I mean, I love the original Halo, but Reach is so much better. Halo 2 and Reach are the best ones. I agree. Halo 2 was everything that the first Halo should have been. Number 7, Batman Arkham City. I don't know if I put it in the top 10. Yeah, neither would I. It's, in a, it's the best Batman game, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Number 6, I agree. The Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. I prefer Twilight Princess, but Ocarina of Time is incredible. Well, my favorite is the Link, uh, the Super Link Nintendo, the a Link to the Past. Uh, let me... <laughs> okay, number number six, Super Smash Brothers. Number okay, this is in the top five. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Really? Who is this fucking list designed for? Melee is the best one. First, this of is all. made for adolescents. <laughs> okay, Ultimate is an amazing game, but better than Melee. Number mm. four, The Witcher Three. What? <laughs> <laughs> The That's psycho Mike said. <laughs> oh, I'm taking a photo of that when I. The psycho Mike said that one. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> I didn't know you speak. I didn't know you could speak German. <laughs> I am German, by the way. I am uh, I'm part number German four, well. The Witcher Three Wild Hunt, top five of all time. Uh, I mean, no. I love Witcher Three. It's an incredible game. I need to, I need to, I need to beat it to be fair. But for my play, I've actually, I'm actually close to the end of the game. It's, it's amazing. Number three, Super Mario sixty four. I wouldn't put it in the top five, but it's, it's a top ten easily. I that love Super Mario sixty four. Amazing. I got game. a friend who thinks that um, that game is actually pretty awful. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. How he he has very controversial opinions. <laughs> this is like my for the last of us part two. I'm sorry <laughs> that game revolutionized 3D platformers mm -hmm. for forever. Well, yeah. It also, for me, I guess it's a little hard to not have bias about it, but. Uh, it was my very first video game ever, so I, <laughs> I hate I, you. I, Mine was Hotel Mario. <laughs> 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 That's arguably the worst Mario game. <laughs> or AKA, oh, okay. as my brother and my dad called it, the crying game. The crying game. Okay, okay. Number two, I agree. Too. Number two, Tetris. That is in the top ten material. Okay, I can agree with that. I mean, it's again, mm -hmm. not my top ten, but I love that game. Number oh, one! Man. What is it? <laughs> Minecraft. Oh my god. Fucking Minecraft. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not joking. That. Let's talk about what's not on this list. Where is Super Metroid? 
There's a sound bite that I have to find for this. I know I'm not kidding. Why could where is Super Metroid? Where's Super Mario Brothers one and three? Where's Hold Legend on. of I got I gotta put on the sound bite because I'm not it, kidding, folks. They have Minecraft at number one. Fuck you, fun. Watch Mojo. Fuck even, you. It's not even like a game game. It's just fucking building stuff and Well, some people like that. Yeah, but okay. it's fun to me though, building things. Well yeah, that, yeah, it's called personal preference. This I is get my, it. This is my this is my reaction. I wouldn't, to this. I'm just I look, I'm trying to we're, we're trying I'm to play not, devil's advocate. Not, not entirely. It's like I understand why, but it's not for personally. I don't think so. I don't like Minecraft that much. I I, I get why it's popular the way that it is. The greatest game of all time. Are no, I wouldn't me? put it that high. Okay. So, oh, go ahead, Austin. Up. This is my reaction. Wait for it. Wait. Wait for it. That's the glue cage. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay. Let's talk about what's not on this list. Okay, they have Castlevania Symphony tonight, but where's Super Metroid? The greatest game result? ever? I would put Red Dead Redemption in that top ten. Red Dead Redemption's not on there either, and I have that listed. Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3, not on there. The original you know Super Mario there? Brothers. Silent Hill 2. Yeah, where's yeah, yeah, that too? Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, GoldenEye 007, <laughs> Call of Duty Uncharted 2. It would should be. In that I list. will get there. On uh, Call of Duty 4: Modern Warfare, Metal Gear Solid, Red Dead Redemption, Metroid Prime, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Uncharted 2: Among Thieves, The Oregon Trail, War of the Warcraft. Be quiet, Austin. Mortal Kombat 2, Pong, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario World, Splinter Cell: Chaos 3. Where the fuck are those games? Instead, you have Minecraft. A pixelated piece of shit at number one. Also, Fuck back you, for a watch game. Mojo. Give me a fucking break. This list was made towards goddamn adolescents. Like, I'm pretty sure how every list is structured is that basically that someone will suggest a game, and then I get. I think it, the thing is, um, how many votes they get, like upvotes they get, is like the highest one. Then the lower votes are the lower ones. It's really stupid. Okay, games that came out in the 80s and early 90s. Here we go. The, this is how many they're on there. Okay, Doom. Uh, Street Fighter 2. And Tetris. Three yeah. games. Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah, I listened to you a shitload. Mm-hmm. Hey, I mean, Night's Order of Republic should be on that list. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah I don't bit. get it either. Yeah, that's that's a very strange list. That is an awful list. Was Minecraft at number one? Nine, Minecraft at number one. Give me a fucking break, dude. Okay, Minecraft is a game that I had. I mean, when I first played, when I when I first started playing, I was like, okay, this is kind of fun. But the more I played it, the more and more I played, I just thought, okay, I spent I I just spent twenty dollars down the drain. I remember I was at my brother's house. I was no, no, you, you know, okay. Well, hold on a second. Uh, no, Alexa. What I mean is adolescent. I'm talking about like the, these generation players who have no idea of the previous history that pretty much set the foundation for everything. I'm talking about those type of radical adolescents. So I was at my bro. Oh, was I was at my brother's house. Mm -hmm. or, I think it was, and I was watching play it. I was like, okay, whatever. But after I had a chance, I decided to play it for a little bit. Personally, not there, but here. Yeah. Wise. And I was just wondering what the, okay, so what am I doing? I'm playing as this little fucker who, <laughs> playing as this little cocksucker who's got a hammer and I start hitting shit. And you got to get away from giant green penises that explode. Yeah, and I'm just fucking, you know, waddling around minding my own business and I'm just making certain things or whatever. You only, you only the only thing that I tried to do when I was playing it. I only did tic tac toe. <laughs> wow, I was having a lot of fun with that too. Sorry, but I rather play a game that actually has like a story, characters that I can get behind, actual gameplay that I can, you know, get it some sort of. Oh. I'll even say something that has like an FPS, or I'll even say, despite how I feel about the genre, I'll say, um, it's kind of like what John Carmack said. He's like, 
Okay, it's like what John Carmack said. He's like, story in a video game is like story in a porn. It's there, but it's not. Um, it's not the most. I think he says not the most important thing. I think so. Yeah, I understand what he meant. Means like, yeah. What is the main focus? Gameplay. But here's the thing. I mean, story. Yeah, it's one thing. But if there's okay, if there's like a story to the games where okay, it gives you like the simple thing and allows you to play the game full through. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, is that I'd rather play a game game. That involves you know actually doing stuff than it is building things like rather like goals to have. Yeah, well, of- I mean there is a goal in Minecraft. It's just very yeah. broad. Yeah, not, not it, getting there. It, it, it's it's a straight. It, it's a it's not a straight line. Is necessarily it's yeah getting there is the the. The difficult part. The actual objective is very straightforward. Oh. Well, you see, okay, here, here's the, like I said, with Alexa, like, she's been watching wrestling content. Like, if, if she was like that typical, she'd be like, oh, I love that match at WrestleMania 36, you know? No, she's watching classics like Undertaker and Shawn Michaels and Bret and Owen Hart. That kind of good shit. See, she doesn't fall in line with us. That's what I mean. So, Wow, it's an hour and fifty. Okay, hey Shane, do you have anything? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been, I've been pretty busy as of late, but I have been doing a couple of, uh, been playing a couple of games as of late. Mm. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, by the way, is fan fucking tastic. If you haven't gotten your hands on it, oh, you really, if you Rise. Ha- yeah, if you have a Switch and. You need a good game to play. Get Monster Hunter Rise. It is probably the most uh, beginner-friendly version of Monster Hunter there has been. Uh, there's that one. There was that winter one, that DLC as well. Well, you're thinking Monster Hunter World. Uh, oh, yeah. I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then the <laughs> DLC being Iceborne. Yeah, those those are fun. Uh, World is is good. It's just uh, later on it becomes uh, stupid hard. Oh uh, God. Uh... But it right, it turns into a from software game. That's <laughs> uh, what it feels like. I got, t- well, I, got t- I got two shotted by a monster once, so that was cool. That's sh- two sh- yeah, it is from software. Yeah, but um, yeah, Rise has probably been the best Monster Hunter, I think. And I, I don't, I have to try to not use hyperbole because uh, I've played a lot of different Monster Hunters, including ones that haven't made stateside. So it's. It's a huge thing to say it's the best one. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I put plenty of hours into it, and I plan to put more in. Uh, good fun. Good fun. Uh, I did recently cave, and I bought Outriders recently. That's a fun game, Outriders. I, I actually really like it. It's, Same. It's a, a definitely uh, this version, because I when I played the demo, it was good, but I had this issue at one point where I had like five crashes in 20 minutes. Really? I, I didn't have one yeah. single crash. Maybe one. I, I, I had one. Uh, last, I had one last night after like four hours into the game. And I think that's, oh. where, and I, in that, which is fine. I, I, I just started a side quest and I, I looked at it. I'm like, okay, this is probably a sign for me to go to, go to fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was, I was up like nearly six in the morning, but, um, that's normal because that's my schedule. But anyhow, uh, I actually really like Outriders. I is it, is it is the best fucking game out there? No, no, no. Are you fucking crazy, girl? Ain't <laughs> shit. No, but it, it's actually really good. If you, especially if you really like science fiction looter shooter, looter shooters uh, with uh with a B movie plot. Then yeah, that's exactly what I, really. what I thought of it too. Yeah, it yeah. reminds me a lot of Gears of Wars in terms of uh, its movement and so. Yeah, it's it, well because it was made by the same people. Sort of. Yeah, people can uh, I mean, mainly, Gears of War Judgment. Yeah, Gears of War Judgment, but mainly also Bulletstorm. So. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, they also <laughs> did they did Bulletstorm. They also did uh, Painkiller. Painkiller. Yeah, exactly. Fun game. Yeah, yeah. So I will say Outriders is very fun. Yeah. Um, I just can't see myself playing it constantly. It's a lot. Of, it has the same kind of vibe Destiny has for me. That's I, it, dude. I love I love Destiny. I do. I really love it. Yeah. Damn it, Luke Nukem. But um oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you sound so disappointed. 
Bulls <laughs> would have been, would have been I was, awesome. Hmm? I was gonna say, Shane, the game reminds it's like a mix of Gears meets Mass Effect with the sci fi thing, and then Destiny. I would say, yeah, yeah, it's because I really like Destiny. It's just one, it's one of those things that I can't play for extended periods of time. Yeah, even <clears throat> excuse me, even though there's a lot to do in the game, to be honest. But a lot of it is like tedium kind of thing. You know, you got to work through the battle passes and stuff like that. And you're kind of at that point, you're just sort of waiting for the next story beat to happen uh, since Destiny is still ongoing and probably will be for a while. Hopefully I do actually really like the story in that. Um, but Outriders back to that. Uh, it's, it's good. I've only got to level seven, I think. So I'm not too far into it, but um, I will say one thing that they did really well. I feel like was um, partly the world building. Yes, I love the world that that this game takes place. In. Yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting. It is. It is very interesting. Um, the thing is, is that I will give them points for how well they did um, the very beginning of the game. Yeah, is uh, it was I will say chaotic and jarring. Was yes. the one. Yeah, it was. I can see that. It actually made me feel something, so that was good. What I'll say about the beginning is this. I don't think that it gives off the greatest first impressions. However, no. once you get your powers, yeah, that's when it becomes a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, exactly. It, it drags its feet a little bit at first, yeah. uh, but it's kind of just sort of setting up the, the scene for what's about to come. Yeah. And uh, it does a really good job at that, I feel, uh, save for the, the little bit of the dragging of the feet part. But it is a highly entertaining game. There's no doubt about oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very fun. It's another thing, too, oh, is... <laughs> Wait, oh. that's your bro Oh, that's your brother? Oh! Howdy, boy! Welcome! Okay. Hey, bud. Hey! Bud. Hi. Uh, but, yeah, so the, uh, the one other thing that um, Outriders does is that it tries to find this balance between defensive and offensive gameplay. Yes, uh, but at the same time, I feel like it finds that balance uh, fairly well. Yeah, it, it's it's really chaotic, but I I like that because it gives me hints of bullet storm in there too. So. By the way, which class are you, Shane? Uh, trickster. Same trickster. Yeah, hey, I, uh, of course you're trickster. That don't surprise. Hey, <laughs> hey, Gary, look who's look who's here. Look who's here. I mean, listen. If, if I can, if I can just go and nothing personnel kid somebody, of course I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> it's, it's Gary Lucas in the chat. Dude, two, by the way, Shane, two tricksters. Oh, that's that's fun. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Like, hey, twin sister. <laughs> yeah, it's Lori. Like it's, yeah, oh it's uh, God. yeah, because especially with the uh, the time manipulation stuff, like that's mm -hmm. just gonna be so fucking cool. I will. I will have a review of that up hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. Yeah, because when I first when I first started, I was uh, my first character was a um, was a technomancer, and I like that. It's Ooh. just um, trickster is a little more my speed. Same, feel, same. Because it just it feels a lot better in solo gameplay. Like I tried the pyromancer. The pyromancer is good for getting yeah. people out of cover and then use a yeah. trickster to coordinate to get people in for a kill. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like I feel like if you were to play with others, you would probably be able to see a lot of skill syncing and probably get a lot of satisfaction out of that. I agree with that absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but to put it in short, as far as I can uh, say Outriders is very fun. I don't yeah. think anyone should listen to the review bombing. That was mainly all because yeah. of the servers having issues before, and not to mention they had that inventory bug that was uh, going around earlier where there was a chance that your inventory could have been wiped. That's been patched, by the way, so you're good. You know the, you know the strange thing is? I never had that bug. Never had it. Yeah, it's uh, it was sort of reported around. I'm not sure how frequent it hit other people. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't buy the game at that point. That's when I, I stood away for like a week and they already threw oh. a patch out to get that taken care of. So it's good. See, Not I got a, a day one. I got a day one review code from Square Enix. So I, I guess I got lucky on my part. I don't know how the hell you got that, but all right, cool. Uh, trust me. I don't got, I still don't, I still don't know how I got it myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I, I really like it. And I think that everyone should give it a shot. Uh, I if they, so if too. they, if looter shooter games are your speed, if you like how Gears of War plays, uh, mixed in with a little bit of division as well too, then you Tom should probably. Division? Yes, 
you should try that because I really like the, I really like the Division One and Two. So I got a lot Divi- of those. Division, vibes in there. Division was fun. It was a fun. Yeah, one. I really I really like those. Um, the other thing I started playing again was Fallout seventy six. Believe it or not. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. I I I have a fun time. It's uh I have a very fun time with it. It's not as bad as it once was. Um, <laughs> I think my friend has gotten a lot better. Yeah, it's it's definitely improved a lot. Um, that's what I've heard. Oh wait, he's my brother, and I wait. No, my whole life he's my brother. Well, at least he's your brother, not mine. Because he was mine, I'd probably kick the shit out of him. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, damn dude. But um, no, I would feel so bad if I did. I'd be. It, it's like uh, I I get mad and I just look. The <laughs> curious thing when it comes to new games, I'm jumping between Outriders and soon I'm gonna start playing the original Metal Gear Solid games. Nice. Like what well, the like the very first Metal Gear. Like I'm playing Metal Gear, then I'm gonna jump into Metal Gear Solid. Lauren right. says something above. She says something actually interesting. She says she loves Mass Effect. Um oh, one and yeah. two. She, she says she hopes it makes it to a live action. That can work. Mm. It could. It, you'd have to be very careful about that though. Just like um uh well, original is going to be a Halo movie, but it turned into District Nine. A Halo Holy movie can work, and a Dead Space movie can work. The oh, problem I would is, love to see a Dead Space movie. I That's don't cool. want. It's got to be in the right hands. Hmm. That's there you go. See, okay, Austin. Here you go. Look what he said. Minus the ending to the third game. <laughs> Mass Effect Mass Effect, Mass Effect One, very good game. Mass Effect Two, one of the greatest one of the games of all time. Even better. RPGs even better. Ever. Mass Effect Three, amazing. Until and the end, fuck you ending. Yeah, which is really funny because when I played Mass Effect Three, I never played the story. All I played was multiplayer. <laughs> the multiplayer was fun. The Mass Effect. Oh my god, it was so much fun. I had and, so much fun. And you know, because I got so high percentage of Mass Effect Three for multiplayer, I actually got to see the entire ending too. Ooh. And w- which meant that Shepard was quote unquote alive. Yeah, After everything that happened. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was a real clusterfuck. But um, ever played Andromeda? So well, speaking, uh, of, uh, Andromeda. Well, speaking, of, speaking of clusterfuck, yeah, I've been uh, Miranda. I looked at some Rule Thirty Four on her the other day, man. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my God, the Futanari is the best shit ever. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Gary knows. I'm, hey, Scorpios, man. Hey, Gary oh. and I represent Scorpios. Uh, what was it? There was another thing that recently just uh, landed today, which was the new trailer for uh, Apex Legends next season. Oh, and so and I must say, if anyone is a fan of Titanfall, if you haven't played it, you really need to. Titanfall go- 2. Yeah. Uh, then you're really going to love this next season of Apex because... Uh, Apex uh, is actually the good Battle Royale game. I, I love Apex. Oh, I do. crap. Mm. <laughs> no, what? go on. Uh, no, go ahead. Yeah, Apex um, is a fantastic uh, title. I I really like it. Even those who may not dig battle royale may actually really like it. I don't know. It's it's really fun with a couple of friends if you get them together. Um, I agree. But yeah, the new trailer dropped today, and it was like, I feel like we're just getting inching closer and closer until we actually get a an animated series of Apex, which I think we should. But I said the same thing about Overwatch, and I still haven't done anything yet for that. So you know. Oh God, Overwatch! I'm sorry, Shane. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> it's it's a real it's in a real sorry state. Oh, that speaking, of, speaking of Rule Thirty Four, yeah, Overwatch. <laughs> oh, I, I, I knew my brother was going to mention Apex sooner or later. Yeah, but um, Boy. I I yeah. So the, the trailer dropped. It was really good. Uh, people who like Titanfall are really going to love all the references they put in there. It's crazy. I was to say, yeah, your bro loves Apex. He loves, um, Dude. oh god, what's that game? He lo- it started off awful, but it turned out to be great. Oh my no god, Man's Sky, right? Oh, well, no Man's Sky, Sky, yeah. Oh, bro, you're gonna love the No Man's Sky. He. It, it is absolutely insane how that game came out and where it's come. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Like the E3 trailer, it was yeah. just like. Whoa! I think you see the gameplay. I'm just like, yeah. you're like, no. I asked for I asked for a chocolate chip cookie dough, not a, a piece of a piece of cardboard with shit on top. <laughs> and then, and then a couple of years later, look how look how it is now. It's absolutely incredible. I couldn't, yeah, it, same thing went. The Witcher three went to the same thing. Oh, yeah, 
Okay, Shannon, I don't know if you'll agree with this. My brother okay. said if Overwatch 2 is bad, it'll kill Blizzard. I don't uh, think it'll I don't think it'll kill Blizzard. Nah. It it will definitely damage them pretty hard. Uh because right now what really fucked them was uh, the remaster of Warcraft 3. Oh yeah. That, I thought that was, that was so was bad. That. Oh god, it was probably one of the worst video game launches of all time. Who I will say played? this though. Shane Diablo 2. <laughs> they're making a new Diablo 2. <laughs> I know, yeah, they're making a remake That's of that. Wait, I hope here, they don't fuck that. I really hope they don't. Who's played uh, Resident Evil 7? I, I've, I've, checked, uh, I've checked it out. Austin, you I played through it. Really of good which, game. I played yeah. the, the that first demo for Resident Evil 8 The because the, there's two demos coming out. I played the first one. It's gone now. You only had like a couple of hours to play it. The game is... From what I played, those werewolves. <laughs> those guys are assholes. <laughs> They're yeah. pricks, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, actually, I actually blew one's head off. No joke. I actually did. Thank God you finished that sentence. I yeah. knew what you're thinking of, Romy. I can see Lauren cosplaying as uh, Lady Demistress Q. The only problem is that Lauren's not nine foot six. <laughs> Let me say this. Oh, sorry. What? What, Gary? What, Gary? What, Gary? <laughs> what, Gary? What are you going to say, Gary? I'm not going to finish that. Bullshit! Gary. I'm finishing that. Why not? Because Lauren will kick the shit out of you. And honestly, I would probably go. <laughs> She'll step on oh, you with this oh like, like every oh, man. Lauren, I this point. I gotta finish that because Lady, Dem Lady, whatever the fuck her name is, she Lady. Dem she's like Gary. Dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> well, she. <laughs> do, you, do, you want, do you want her? Do you want her to step on you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like a no crap right there. <laughs> but no, I will. No um, Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. Like for, for my first impressions from that from that first gameplay demo, I mean, I, there's another demo coming out next weekend where it takes place in the castle. This one was for the village, like actual village gameplay. Yeah, the tension, the atmosphere, God, they nailed it so good. Yeah, like it feels it, like it feels like you're playing a first fantastic. person Resident Evil Four almost. Yeah, that's what I, I really got big Resident Evil Four vibes out of mm -hmm. it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did some crazy like twist the thing of a jig on that. But oh, I, dude, I kind of doubt it. But it's probably going to have its own identity, which is really cool. And I got my uh, pre-order in for the deluxe edition. Uh, I don't pre-order anything anymore. Uh, well, I pre-ordered for the PSN store, N not hey, for the GameStop. Hey, I, that's get, still pre-order. Uh, I don't get. Wait, Gar wait, awesome. Wait, what would you? What would I rate Resident? What would you rate Resident Evil Six? Oh, it was. I guess like a three or four I out of ten. Never I get played a four it. It's not it's, good. Like, yeah. I, the, I thought it was okay. The son of um, what's his Jake name? Mueller. He was the best. That was the best campaign. Yeah, definitely. It, it, here's the thing about six. It was sort of a really fun mess. That's what I would call That's it. That's what I've heard. Yeah, Leon Kennedy's. That was the worst campaign. That was which awful. surprises me to hear because yeah, he's using the best one. Oh, uh, so bad. I, I am looking forward to the new Netflix series. Resident Evil and Dark and Dark Infinite Darkness, I think it is. I think it was Infinite Darkness, yeah. I cannot wait for that show, dude. Oh my god, I can't wait for some Infinite, of that bullshit. Infinite Darkness, yeah, Gary's bottle. <laughs> right, okay, wrong. this is the answer everyone's coming. Resident Evil 4, 10 out of 10. I like, actually love it. Oh, no, that's 10. a 6 out of 5. Resident Evil 5. I. Eight out of ten. I had so much fun playing. Yeah, that. I, I, I seven out of five was really good. I think the only problem I had with it was the final chapter. It was so Gary. I were trying to say something. Yeah, earlier. wait, what? I they were trying to say something, Gary. No. Oh, uh, but <laughs> Resident Evil <laughs> Six. No. Ever played Resident Evil Seven? I give it like an eight or a nine out of ten. I Resident also get that an eight out of ten. Yeah. I love that game. Does not get enough love. Uh, Resident Evil Biohazard. Hey, Gary. Yeah. Oh, I know Gary and Austin have more topics, and I still have that fucking. Well, then again, we have. Well, how much? I, I got. Go okay, ahead. yeah, because I I got I just realized that I ha I had D and D in about uh, thirteen minutes ago, so. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, which is fine because I not, did again. not not everyone's in chat right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Yes, uh, I did that, Romy. I can go ahead and keep going for a little bit, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. All right, no worries. I mean, once. Once everybody's in, that's when I gotta. I mean, ski daddle. <laughs> I mean, I'll save one of my reviews for the next one because I can just go over my pickups I got very quickly. Oh, 
Awesome. Uh, and Gap Bear, you? What did you want to go over? Well, I got. I mean, I, I had the family's got guts. I had the surprise from Legends in Temple. I had the Pepsi new flavor, and well, my second one. Well, go you, over Pepsi. Do you have the Pepsi with you? Well, it's not. I didn't see it in the store yet. It's not out yet. It's coming soon, though. I don't know if it's out yet or not, but I didn't see it yet. But basically, Pepsi's released. And by the way, thanks to Tanner, he sent me this. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I will. I will be back Pepsi momentarily. Pepsi, Pepsi has a te- Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola has a tendency to go mangoes a little bit. No pun intended. And uh, they are going to be releasing a new flavor of pop that is going to be a permanent flavor in the first five ye- first time in five years, and that is a mango flavored Pepsi. So, mm. PepsiCo announced the nationwide roll-up of Pepsi Mango, the Pepsi's first brand new permanent flavor cola in five years. Beginning, okay, okay, so it just happened not so long ago. Holy shit, I thought it, I thought it was going to take out later, but I didn't see my local store yet. Maybe it's at Walmart, but again, Walmart gets everything. But it'll be available. <laughs> for, it'll be obviously in twelve right, cans and twenty influential bottles, regular and zero sugar fit varieties. Pepsi described its new flavor and press. The bitter, the bright citrus and rich caramel note of an ice cold Pepsi creates the perfect cola base from the ripe, juicy mm. flavors that mango so irresistible. So they're creating all this, you know, this all this hype with um with Pepsi's mango. So I will hopefully try and get myself a can and from there and see what it'll be like trying it. I'll probably t- t- taste it on the show here see what that's all about so that's all i can really say about that okay yeah yeah so, that's it that's it all right, so i guess i can i guess i'll go over my pickups really quick well then go <laughs> what's stopping so, you all right so recently guys well today i picked up well today i picked up two movies in 4k and also, a couple weeks ago, I received two movies, and I received a Blu-ray recently as well. So, I'm going to go over the movies that I got a couple months ago, and I'll go over my recent pickups, which I got today. So, first, okay. the Blu-ray. One of my favorite movies of last year, Promising Young Woman. Uh, yeah, I'm cool when it comes to... <laughs> I love this movie so much. Next up, 2014's Godzilla. Very... Oh, that's very good. Oh, wow, I love the cover. It's like old school. I love that cover so much. And then mm-hmm. I still need to see that. So freaking good. I uh, need to see and that's saying a lot for me because I'm like a huge Pete Dr. Yeah. Nuthugger. Yes, Shane, you are. Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw it either. Saw what? Soul. Soul? No, I haven't had a chance yet. Oh man. <laughs> Shane, Shane's gonna make a movie. It's gonna be a horror film based on him. It's called uh, I shout out oh, I shit my soul. <laughs> oh my god. No, yeah, yeah. Soul, uh, soul <laughs> shitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but no gary i showed godzilla Wait, soul and i promised young you're woman quiet all I, right I, so i really do want to catch soul the next really two bad. movies these are the ones i just picked up today mm. first one up i can't believe i never had this already the winter soldier oh so nice. good awesome movie i think it was actually the last one they had in stock at best buy today the last one in stock and then afterwards a classic in every sense. A new Star Wars, the very original. Yeah, we're not calling it Star Wars. Yeah. Episode, no, we're calling it as it was. Fucking Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. And recently, I picked up two Switch games recently. Yeah, man. Soul is... Oh I love God. Soul. Yeah, I really want to catch it. It's just... Uh, so, these two games, well, I've beaten... One of them. The other two, I'm still working on. Well, the three is a collection, but the first one, Hades on Switch. Yeah, it's. Um, I love this game so much. It's Moist, hard, but it's Moist, so good. Moist Critical named it his favorite game of last year. It's like an aggressive Diablo. It's the best way I can describe. It. Like a very which, aggressive. Which Diablo. one is it? Hades. Hades. Yeah, yeah. It's. I, I really. I need to get it. It's addicting, dude. And then. This game, believe it or not, was actually delisted from the Nintendo eShop not too long ago. Super Mario All Stars. Yep, they killed Mario. Mm. They killed Mario. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> this includes Mario. They killed Mario. <laughs> they killed him on March thirty first. He's gone now. Corley, you cannot buy this Luigi's game digitally. One, you cannot. 
You well, that's better because he can jump yeah. higher and he's better anyway. Yeah, exactly. I agree. <laughs> Luigi number one. Dude, Fucking there is a skit. Don't, I'll die on this hill. Don't at me. Look at look, <laughs> look at the skit, guys. There's a skit where uh, Luigi is essentially towing off Mario, and it's the best thing. I, I love it. So basically, this includes Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. Okay, Mario Sunshine, it's it's okay. Mario 64 is oh, great. It's Super, okay. Super- Super Mario Galaxy 1 and especially 2 are mm-hmm. fucking phenomenal. I, quiet. No, uh, uh, Austin. I, I, I don't know what to say. That's... I mean, doing, doing my sunshine like that? Man. I lo- You know, for my play, I think sunshine is a lot of fun. Sunshine, I love it. When I play it, I see darkness. Oh, for God's sake. Wow. <laughs> now, now, I'm actually going to give... Oh, <laughs> cheer up, you fucking emo! <laughs> Gary? Hey, my son, shine away. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> but no, I'm actually going to give Galaxy a fair shot. I'm actually going to play and beat the darn game this time. Yay. Yeah, it's like all the other games you need to play. And <laughs> well, well, my priority, Gary, my priority right now is for Metal Gear right now. Metal Gear. Mm-hmm. So that's all my topic because I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to leave the last for last. <laughs> I'm leaving the next ones like Metal Gear Solid 5 for next week. Oh wow! Oh yeah, that's right, Lauren. You do have the GameCube. She still has Sunshine for the GameCube. Me, was a gr- Dude, the GameCube was an amazing console. The two oh, I love the game. best games on the GameCube. No argument. I don't give a damn who you are. Resident Evil Four and Metroid Prime. I don't play GameCube. So I don't play. I'd also put Super Smash Bros. Melee on there, but that's no. Cool. I would put. I would. As for the top two, nothing's better than those two. What? Well, it- for top two, I agree, but for like a top five, I'm saying I put yeah. that in melee. I said top two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Shane, what would you, you add like on? Wieners in your mouth. <laughs> Shane, I want to yeah. hear what you would add. What for GameCube top. games, like the best ones? Well, the best ones, like obviously, it was Luigi's Mansion. Fucking, oh. that was a fun one. That's a good I, one. I love me some Luigi's Mansion. I would Alex- play that over and over again. Alex- 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 Gary, nice. what are you thinking of? I never had a GameCube, so I can't answer it. Oh, I played it on my 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 buddy's. Uh, okay, who the hell is this? That was a Christmas present, and mine dropped out of the box when I was holding it upside down. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, like, but it was but it was in bubble wrap, so it was safe. Oh, Alex, yeah. says, you are my sunshine. If I really was, you know, you would be saying, "You'd be like, Jeremy, get your big ass out of the way. You're blocking my sunshine." <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, give, I'll mention this game, Rogue Squadron Two. Mm-hmm. Gary, what was that? What, what? was that? What? You're just like, I don't need to filter. I don't need to say anything. No, no, I felt your look. My, yeah, and that's all you need. That explains for itself. Gary's just being Gary. Yes. Grumpy, grumpy <laughs> McGrump fuck face. Yeah. He's just being Gary. Man, I miss that. I miss my GameCube. Like the the the, 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 the laser the laser thing and um the thing where you put the game thing on the the holder where you put in the GameCube itself. Yeah. It yeah. broke. It broke. My my mine broke because of the laser reader itself. Something happened with it, and it just could not read games anymore. That's what happened. It was that in the combination of the thing I put the this on. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah. Mine a- broke because I thought I was playing Liar's Dice, and I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see he was fucking coming up to the corner, slob squatting down, be like, "Okay, guys, it's my turn." You just throw a fucking GameCube <laughs> in the center. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I didn't... It's like, oh shit, Metro Point 3 was in there. Shit. Oh, well, you, you, you got fun. I know. Never played, never beat Metroid Prime. It's it's a good one. So I really enjoy it. Would you, Gary, stop it. I never Hold had up. the chance to. Never had the Hold chance. Second. Fuck off! Okay, now I... Let me, I'll say this. <laughs> if it comes out for the Switch before the fourth Metroid Prime game comes out, I will actually Whenever buy it. Whenever the play. hell that'll be. I That's going to be play. ages. I have yet to play GoldenEye. Uh, wait, isn't there like a remake? What, Gear Pair? Yeah. There is. So for Lauren, I'm going to say this right now, and this is... Hopefully, it'll happen. And it's on my bucket <laughs> list and my to-do list as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, restraining order, yes. <laughs> oh, that too, but the, once the marriage happens, this is what's going to really to the restraining order. Once the marriage oh. happens, this is my idea. Sorry. Once she go, once the marriage happens, and I'm I'm literally gonna do this. Oh, hold on, wait a bit. Oh, wait for it. Oh, okay, it was just a poofer. So, <laughs> what the fuck? Poofer. Anybody, 
if anybody has to say, if anybody says these two should not get married, speak now or Whoa. forever hold your peace. Well, hold on, let Gary speak. Well, Laura said you'll kidnap me. Well, the runaway bride. So, <laughs> right. I mean, I am a member of, let's just say, a bit a particular group that I got my NRA badge. I'm not gonna say what, but I am a part of the group. Oh God. But let's just say what I'm gonna do is. Once Lauren's holding the hands of you know future hubby bub, <laughs> to, the priest the priest asked if there's any reason why these two shouldn't get married. Speak now, forever hold your peace. I'm gonna be the only one who's gonna raise her hand, stand up, and I'm gonna rip a loud fucking fart <laughs> to the whole entire church. Sit back down, and there you go. They're probably gonna throw some holy water on you because you're probably possessed and you need to uh, <laughs> exercise some. some the demons. devil, the devil has possessed my asshole. Uh huh. <laughs> she says she's no Julia Roberts. <laughs> Run away, Blake. I'm go. I'm going to fucking rip a fart at the wedding. I'm going to do it. And she I'm gonna get, she's gonna get sit in the back. Good. I'm, makes it even better because it echoes through. <laughs> no. You know yeah, I know exactly. Oh, so you're, gonna, you're ripping ass, and it's just gonna echo throughout the entire hall. Yeah. Right. Do I know? You want to know what'll be funny? Grab a microphone and put it right there. <laughs> oh, that you just reminded me of something. Right? Speaking just, of farting creature, <laughs> you, just, you just reminded me of something I saw a while back ago, and I have to you find want, it again. I have to show it to you guys. You want your, huh? Was that? You want your potential invite to get rejected? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh it reminds me of this video i saw where this guy's like uh how to uh how to mask the sound of you dropping something and he grabs a cup a glass out from the sink and he tosses it and he just rips ass super loud and it hit, the glass hits the ground shatters and <laughs> Is the guy's dad gets up and and mind you, the guy is still ripping ass. By the way, he's still going. And guy, guy's dad gets up. He's like, Brandon, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I saw these some of that video. Yeah. Gary. Well, what happened? Lauren is very sad. What'd you do? Oh, what, what, what happened? She showed a, a, a sad emoji. You apologize. Well, give her a cookie and she'll feel better. <laughs> she'll, she'll take women, that cookie and shove it down your women, throat and women, kick you right in the jaw. Women love cookies and sweets. And no, women love chocolate. You well, don't shit. True. And there's chocolate chip cookies. Give her that and she'll feel better. Oh my God. Why is she sad? Because Gary's like, yes, I want it to be rejected. But she wants you to show up. She wants you to show up and not make an idiot of. out of yourself. <laughs> You want me to tell you the truth? I'm not a person who does weddings or any big gatherings. Cause mm. every time that happens, I feel out of place. So oh, same. that's why I don't do weddings. And every time I go to a wedding, I always <laughs> oh, so we better on. That home and watch review because it's almost time to end the show. Holmes and, uh Holmes and okay. Now I'll do this really fast. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to make this like a five minute, five to ten minute review. Here we go. Holmes and Watts. Now <laughs> Well, you're assume women love chocolate sex. <laughs> I was going to say the same Cancel. thing. Oh, so, Cancel. good God. Wait, yeah. how many topics have we gotten into so far? Well, it's, it depends, really. Like, if you know how the show is structured. Um, yeah. So, yeah. if you if you saw... Wait, hold on a second. It's literally a show about nothing. Well, well, kind of it is. Yeah. So, <laughs> episode 150, I was the biggest loser in the blackjack. And my penalty is I had to watch a film called Holmes and Watson. <laughs> it is from the comedy duo of Step Brothers. Okay. Which I enjoy I, I Step see. Brothers. It's one of the fucking worst comedies ever. <laughs> and then we get to this movie. Now, basically, it's about these two knucklehead dumb shits. One play one plays Holmes, the other one plays Watson. They're played by Will Farrell and Jason Riley, and they're trying to unravel the case of who is the murderer. Oh, who's gonna be the mur who's the murderer of the queen in the next few days since her life is in danger? And it pretty much focuses on these two schmucks trying to figure out this case. 
Fox. Like, well, like premise alone, that doesn't sound that bad. Okay. This for the execution move, then. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say this right now. This is one of the stupidest fucking movies I have ever seen. <laughs> nothing about this movie is funny. There's nothing about this film that's redeeming. Nothing makes sense. There's nothing coherent. And the fucking cameos in this movie. Wow. Uh first of all, Braun Strowman. Oh, is in this movie. And guess who he plays? Oh my god. He plays a character named Braun who likes to beat people up in a wrestling ring. <laughs> Gee, he must have just done step light years above just to, you know, reach that point. And then Hugh Laurie, who's known for playing House, is in this film. Oh, he no. plays he plays uh, Sherlock Holmes's brother. Oh god. And the final act of this movie takes place on the Titanic. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Before it departs. I know where this is going. Oh, well, and, and guess who shows up at the end going to the Titanic? Who? And he was only is it, there. Is it, is it Leonardo DiCaprio? It was Billy Zane! Oh, my Wait, God. What? Please also, Zane. Bruce Buffer and Michael Buffer, the ring announcer for UFC and boxing, they're in this in this too. Right before, uh, right before Braun Strowman is ready to go into a fight, they one goes less uh, and wait, it's time. And the other one's like, "Let's get ready to." F oh my god, it was so stupid. Every wow. fucking joke is goddamn stupid. Wow. And then you got the love interest. One's played by Rebecca Hall, and the other one's played by the young, the wrong Missy herself, in which her character, she was raised by felines, and she's got the mental capacity of a four year old. Oh, God. This is, I was just like, yeah, this is what this target already is, is centered towards four year old retards. And there's these jokes that go on forever. The running jokes that are not funny. Like, you know how Sherlock Holmes in his mind is trying to figure out how to precisely solve this issue. And he uses, like, you know, like calculations and geometry and shit. Yeah, but every time that happens, it always ends in failure. And they do this joke over and over and over. Yeah, I saw and one was, involved like a bee's nest. And I saw this. Oh my god! Thing. And Sherlock Holmes is a fucking asshole to Watson. Like, there's a sequence where he legit poisons him and it fucks him up just to see what the results could be to to help further his studies. Hmm. He's an asshole. Aww. The jokes are not funny. This is just. Uh, I don't know about that, Nicholas. I thought that movie was bad, but yeah. I'm saying, there's so much talent in this movie. What are you doing? Oh, and this movie's produced by Adam McKay. Gee, no wonder it sucked ass. Mm. This uh, is beyond bad. Like, uh, everybody, it, it, everybody's in the uh, chat thing, so I gotta get going. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah. All right, later, Shane. Yeah, I, I had a very fun time. Uh, yeah. I am still I'm still tickled about my my uh, my previous introduction for both of us. <laughs> so that was great. That was pretty great, but yeah, I, I thanks for having me on. Uh, I had a very fun time. Hopefully, we'll do this again without any interruptions. Yeah, As, hopefully. You know, life comes at us real fast. Uh, but until then, uh, I'll see you guys hopefully next week. Boy, boy. Absolutely. All right, thanks for having me on. I'll catch you guys later. Boy, 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 boy. But yeah, back to um, uh, dumb uh, back to dumbass and and shit for brains. <laughs> Yeah, I love how he claims he's the smartest guy, and yet they're fucking idiots. Hmm. Like they go for the most obvious jokes possible. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, Th this is if you took Step Brothers and you put those two characters and make them as Holmes and Watson. Oh, and there's like somewhat of like a prequel, like the first five ten minutes. It shows how Sherlock Holmes becomes Sherlock Holmes, and it's the stupidest fucking thing ever. Weird. He, what he does is that when he was a little kid and he's at the school and everyone picks on him, right? And there's this girl he has a crush on. So what do they do? He's like, hey, 
you want she wants to kiss you we're gonna put a blindfold on you and i'm like let me guess he's gonna kiss someone or something's ass and he does and he kisses the ass of a fucking donkey everyone points the last one when he's about to shed a tear but he's like you know what no i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm going to keep my emotion to myself and I'm going to use this towards logic to where I can use that to my advantages. And he gets every kid expelled for using logical sense of what they did. Cause that's how he just becomes a smart science, like a smart person. All of a sudden, I'm not kidding. And he gets everyone in school uh, expelled and he's the only one there. <laughs> the script is beyond terrible. Well, I never saw this one. Yeah, this is a big fat fucking F. Big old fat F. Genius for cookie. <laughs> All right, well, this is we just get like, out of here. yeah, this Whoa. is beyond awful. Yeah, like, I remember it was an Angry Joe, and then they gave it like a two out of ten. No, two out of ten is being too. There's nothing funny about this. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's so awful, and I'm just just scratching the the. The surface with this. There's so much more, but I don't want to continue on. Big fat F, awful. Mm. It's on par, if not worse, than Step Brothers. I can't believe I'm fucking saying that. Yeah, it's that bad. Okay. If you saw this in 2018, would it make it in your top five worse? No. Because wow. my top five, I had the house that Jackoff built. I had Super Pooper Troopers Two, the first turd, Life of the Party, and Nobody's Fool. Not your fool, nobody. <laughs> so, having said that, get bear. Well, before we go, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, my family's got guts because some, because a few a couple folks asked, and I might as well get it out of the way real quick. Okay. All right. So, I watched a few episodes of My Family's Got Guts. Now, I understand the premise. I understand exactly what they were trying to go for. It was trying to be like a reboot of the original, but instead of the show itself, it's more of the family getting involved. Now, I understand they were trying to bring back some of the old events along with some new stuff that you usually see along with the aggro crag and previous stuff like the obstacle cars, the flying football and sky slam and the other stuff and the fucking Oompa Loompas running around. And shit. <laughs> Oompa Loompas. The thing is, is that, when I was watching this, now, I again, I understand the concept, but here's the thing, though. The way that they were explaining the rules and the way that they were refereeing and hosting, the hosting was just not as good like Michael Malley and Moira Quirk hosted it. The hosting just felt a little quirky and out of place and completely awkward. Same thing with the rules explaining. It just didn't feel like they were going into in-depth detail like it's supposed to at all. And now, mind you, this was occupied by production of Impact Wrestling, too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is, uh, is Jordan Grace in there? Oh, God. Mm. Big, oh, Big Mama Pump. That's what her name is. No joke. Oh, she is. Oh, my God. She, mm, she is so beautiful and Anyways, as I was saying, when I was trying, when I was watching the show, now a lot of things changed. But here's the thing: the way that the contestants were coming off, the way that they were explaining themselves, I understand they were trying again, trying to bring that maintain maintenance of professionalism. But here's the thing: though, the way that they were trying, things is that the games that they were doing was so simplified and easy to do. But there was a lot of struggling going on. There was hardly any suspense or anything that you should give any care at all. And honestly, I can understand why the show barely lasted for so it long. It lasted a season, didn't it? Or so, if that. It lasted from September of 2008 to October of 2009. So yep. barely. Yeah, just a year. <laughs> so the show was a complete failure from the way it looked. And I understood completely. It was cheesy. It was corny. It was honestly against everything that the original Guts was all about. Yeah. So it was a big, it was basically a big bummer watching this. And honestly, a somewhat insult to my intelligence from knowing how the show is supposed to originally go and shit. But again, I got to give it credit for premise and concept for what they were trying to do. But of course, execution. execution was just not there and it just did not work at all. And so it was a big failure. I might have more talk about game shows down the road. Um, if you folks want to talk more about Nickelodeon game shows, I'll be more than happy to. Because remnants, reminiscence of childhood. So that being said, let's get the fuck out of here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. 
So thank you all for tuning in for your next episode of Ball Fuzz. I hope you all enjoyed the program. Thank you for more shit to come as always. And thank you for more streams and other stuff to come. I would do that again, but I'm not going to do a reverb. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have yourselves. I hope <laughs> you all have oh my god! <laughs> Did you see he was about to go? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mort, I didn't mean to do that. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I hope y'all had yourselves a good program, a good time, and as always, well... <laughs> God dang it, Romy! Doink! Let's get douche. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all had yourself a... I didn't do it that time! That was me. I'll stop it. Fucking beat your ass. <laughs> you would do it anyway, so what's new? I hope you all had yourselves a good time watching the program. I hope everybody has themselves a good rest of their night. Enjoy your week. I got some shit. We'll hopefully have some more shit coming up as time progresses to give you all something to watch and enjoy and all the nonsense. Come on, Gary. Hit that hit that hammer. Case closed. I'm not fucking doing it. I don't do it all the time, do I? Case closed, mother F. Um <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, all right, so good night. Take care of yourselves, and we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Put the hammer down, double. There we go. Hammer time. Can't touch this. So, folks, I hope you'll all take care. Of your- <laughs> <laughs> hey, good Lord, says sleep tight, boo. Hey, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the. <laughs> I'm gonna break my fucking dad. Quit, quit, quit it! <laughs> I can't do this. What the fuck? You're playing whack a mole with your desk. <laughs> if you don't be careful, your desk is gonna join your chair <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> the desk slayer, then at that point, right? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm d- no more. I'm not doing this fucking outro anymore. Aww. Oh, yeah. Aww. Get out there. I, I, was what, I, short there for I a second. said what I need to say, so I don't need to fucking want me to tuck you in. <clears throat> uh, I mean, my bed is open for business, so. I'll join. Every, I mean, my bed's open. Put the hammer down. And remember, kids, if you're having a tough time in life, don't worry. Have a pineapple. <laughs> oh, I see Gary's. I saw no fucking pineapple. Fuck you. Big box, no whammy. Stop. You <laughs> goddamn <laughs> nonsense. Order of the clerk. Do I seriously do this shit all the time? No, I don't. I don't do this all the time. You do it, you do it fairly often. No, I don't. And yes, I know I bear it for every single. I know. So. You want me to slip you an ambient? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all. <laughs> Karate chop! Take care of yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I know exactly what he's saying. <laughs> ba- he, sl- he smacks that fucking table and the shit flies off of it. <laughs> 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 Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. I'm going to watch that thing after this. I swear to God. All right. Well, let's end this thing. <laughs> oh, no. When you, when she rides you nonstop and you're busting nuts and you're about to black out. Oh, oh, my God. God. I got shit to do. Right. Oh, let's get out of here. God damn it.
<laughs> hey, Gary, you know what would be a good stand for your camera? A pineapple. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> night, night. Night, guys.